be praying for this man. They feel bad about what's going on. And I understand why they mad. Everybody got secrets. Everybody got demons. But they saying that Diddy is a demon. You can't be talking bad about people like Quincy Jones and Clive Davis because they got a whole lot of power. And if these rumors are true and Diddy about to go ahead and try to expose Quincy to save his own ass. He trying to throw this old man in front of the bullet like this man ain't an abracadabra. Get out of anything type of guy that been around since the 20s done been there and done that. Y'all got to understand something, man. Quincy Jones is basically Gizmo, even though he's a nice guy, a friendly character. It's been a lot of demons that spawned from this man. Oh my I ain't only talking about Diddy or Michael Jackson or Kelly. All of the dudes getting accused got something to do with your boy Gizmo. I mean, Quincy Jones oh and the theory get even deeper. When it comes to showmanship, when it comes to being in control, an innovator, orchestrator, a manipulator, a puppet master, Quincy Jones been there since the beginning. The Pink Panther is the manifestation of a zesty man dealing with some Yola. People didn't know that the Pink Panther was a representation of a man when he high off that shit and he got a whole lot of zest in his body. That's the whole point of it, man. It's a zesty character created back in the day to represent them cat daddies when they used to get loaded and wanted to get close. Quincy Jones produced the music for the Pink Panther. He put it together, orchestrated it for the fans and the people way back in 1964. Did he know something about that top hat dancing? The showmanship. Did he know something about being the Pink Panther? Just like all the other entertainers. Michael Jackson know what that life is like. Get out there. Working for the man. He put a chain around your neck and tell you that you number one. When all along you just a zest cake doing his dirt. Because he ain't about to get out there and rap. He want that rap money. But he ain't about to put on the chain and say that foul stuff to make that money. He'll send your punk ass out there to do it, give you a chain, you shake his hand, you make a deal with him, and he skate off to the bank. And when it all hit the fan, all that freaky deaky stuff he taught you and got you living like the Pink Panther, he ain't got to worry about that persecution. Now, y'all got to feel me on this. Did he know all about that song and dance? He know all about being the Pink Panther. He'll get on stage and dance you under the table. He done learned it from the greats. Like Michael Jackson, you even got Shine wearing the Pink Panther shit. Cat Williams running his mouth with the top hat. A true showman. All of them wear the damn hat. Buster Rhymes, Slick Rick. It's a bunch of Pink Panthers out there, man. Quincy Jones, the creator, the innovator, and Diddy just a demonstrator. And y'all don't think that Pink Panther shit is real? Well, how come he got young Miami out here selling pink cocaine? I told y'all what time it was young Miami accused of transporting pink cocaine to Diddy in the updated court documents. If that ain't no Quincy Jones, I don't know what it is, man. Got that cat daddy. Snorting on pink cocaine. It don't get no zestier than that. Y'all need to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button. I got so much love for y'all. They talking about Diddy trying to take down the big wig. I don't want to see Quincy Jones, Clive Davis, or none of them dudes go down. Because you can say what you want to say about them. They never put themselves out there like no gangsters. They ain't never go out there with a thousand chains around their neck. You ain't never heard... Quincy Jones on the song talking about pimping no hells. So this going to be a long shot, man. I say you leave them old men alone. They don't pave their way. They made their path. They gave you a job. And if you was dumb enough to take it, that's on you, Diddy. You can't be trying to take down these OGs, man. And for the people watching the video, this is the time 
where I show y'all nothing but love so y'all get ready for these shout outs, man. Yo, where they at? Get it together, bro. Show them some love. We got Renee Smith, Detroit's finest, Lone Wolf, Joni Warren, Swifty Panda, Poetic Justice, Nina, Miss Lovely Mimi. She here too. Yo, everybody, Sabrina Dawks, Swifty Panda, did I mention him? On Gama, on Bossy, Stephanie, everybody watching. Okay, we got to get back to the drama. Michael Jackson made millions of dollars, but eventually he lost his motherfucking mind. You can say the same thing about everybody on the list. Diddy made millions of dollars, but eventually he lost his motherfucking mind. They all got something in common. But Diddy don't top off everybody. No Diddy. Oh my he don't top Michael Jackson. He don't top Dawg Kelly. No Diddy. He don't top all the biggest freaks in Hollywood. And they all got something in common. That Diddy devil been sniffing on that pink panther, shucking and jiving and dancing for a long time. And now his secret out. Why it couldn't be no blue flame or no red blaze or no orange dorm or no, come on, man. She looking like she know what he on. They say she a mule. Young Miami living like Griselda. Oh she was the one bringing in that Yoda from Miami, Florida, baby, with a bunch of gold teeth in her mouth. Said he mixed the X with the white. Stir it all together and he got pink cocaine, daddy. Oh my what we do, we do a jingle and it's going to sound like do 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 do. And then you're gonna come in with the bass guitar and you're gonna go wham wham wham. And then we're gonna do deep cuts on the other side of the track, daddy. Oh, it's gonna be so jazzy. And if any of these young motherfuckers ever wanna test my gangster, I got an abracadabra for their ass. Quincy motherfucking Jones. Al B. Shore had a baby for him. Oh my goodness. And since a man and another man can't have a baby, he gave him a junior. What part of the game is that? Rest in peace to Kim Porter. And while he was doing that for Quincy, Diddy was scheming on the booty. He wanted to have a baby for Quincy, so he just took his son and said it was his own. I'm talking about these boys going wild. <laughs> they crying, looking out the mirror, looking out the window with raindrops all on the window, man. Thinking about Quincy. Will Smith just got in the world of trouble after he smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. All of his gremlins is falling. And he's still standing. What did he do to them boys to possess them? I tell y'all exactly how it went down, man. Feel me on this, and y'all gotta pay close attention. I know this ain't Doc's Daily, but people doing Diddy real bad right now, and I can't stand it. They making it seem like Diddy the only devil in the game. Like Dr. Dre ain't got allegations and lawsuits since the 80s. Let me explain something to y'all, man. I promise we're going to move on with the show. I'm going to open the phone lines and everything. But if Diddy zesty, that means Jada kiss zesty too. Oh and I know y'all don't want to hear that about Jada. But if Diddy is all these things, that means that Biggie, the locks, the mace, and every last one of them. Because he the damn Quincy Jones of hip hop. Y'all got to feel me on this, man. And I'm going to make it make perfect sense so we can get on with the rest of the show. So I ain't got to talk about this no more. Y'all got to feel me. Clive Davis and Quincy Jones love money. Been having money for a long time. And you could say whatever you want to say about these men. But they honorable and they respectable. Because Clive Davis ain't never got on no song and said nothing about no hoes. You ain't never seen Quincy Jones with a bandana wrapped around his head talking about he gonna pop somebody noodles. Oh my goodness. Can't say the same thing for Diddy though. 
You could make up all the rumors and talk bad and put the blame on them, but when it's all said and done, they some model citizens in the public. But one thing for sure, they music is a thing of the past. It ain't selling like that no more. They would have went broke if they ain't get involved with hip hop. But they ain't about to get out there and put on no chains and do all that silly shit just to get a bag. But they will put you in position so you can make they money for them. And that's where you get P. Diddy. Look at this, man. This is where you get the diddler. Do y'all understand? He ain't about to be no front or no rap company with pe pe black people talking about killing each other. That would be absurd. But he could hire somebody to do it as long as he know the game. Got to show him the ropes, you know, toughen this kid up. Back in my day, you know, we do shit like this and we do stuff like that. My way or the highway, pal. And guess what, man? Diddy didn't sit down when he used the bathroom before he met Quincy Jones. He doing all different types of strange stuff. They show you how to do this, son. Hove been grooming people for a while. Now Diddy out here doing the groomings. People are sending their kids to Diddy to get the grooming. Cause he been groomed professionally. It's only one way to be. And it's only one way to see. And you gotta do it just like me. He taught that man. Diddy is a professional dog groomer because he had professional dog groomers grooming him. Do y'all understand what I'm trying to say here, man? He take a young artist. They weren't doing no music. He was just showing him the life and how it goes and how you got to be. Meek Mill been groomed in prison, if you ask me. And when he hit the streets, he was ready for a sugar daddy. Just like so many dudes out there living that street life. But let's get back to this right here. The pink cocaine. You snort that shit, you're going to be bent over for at least an hour. Your back ain't going to be right. You're going to have to get a chiropractor just to straighten your shit out. You know, Miami accused of transporting pink cocaine to Diddy. And they said they calling Saucy Santana the Tongo man in Africa. Oh he get that shit from all over the world. He hop off the boat doing the cha-cha. Next thing you know, he headed back to America with them keys, allegedly. Oh a, a zesty gangster named Saucy Santana that'll pull a machine gun out his ass. They ain't playing down there in Miami. That boy pull up on the dock. If you ain't got that work, he gonna do you like academics, beat your ass, and then bang your ass. Oh Had your ass on live crying, scared. Y'all think Act gonna cry? He ain't cry when Meek Mill threatened him. He ain't cry when Floyd Mayweather said he was gonna punch him in his nose. Oh what will make a man? Get online and ball his eyes out because some dude named Sase Santana oh my said he was going to do something to him unless Saucy the truth. Think it's a game. These zesty boys, they ain't to be played with, man. They'll hit your ass with some pink cocaine. Oh like, put it in your nose. Why is you scared? There ain't nothing. It's pink, bitch. Oh my, oh my God. Give it here. Let me show you how to do it. I don't know about this. You said that shit. Pink Quincy Jones told me about some shit. I learned this from Quincy. She looking like you gonna do another line or what? Like, damn, you sell pink cocaine too? It's either from him or me, Diddy. I got it for cheap. He show up to the Met Gala looking for another dealer. Like this bitch is breaking the bank. She made him take her shopping and he was looking depressed at the mall. Y'all remember that? Oh my goodness. She got him by his balls. She had Diddy on the leash. He act like he ain't even like her for real. We go together real bad. Like we do? Like I guess. Shit, you the one with the work. Oh my goodness. Like whatever you say, Ma, you know I'm hooked. 
pink cocaine. I need 16 BBCs over here now, else I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna die if I don't get 60. Oh he on the phone crying with the sex company. Like if y'all want some sex BBC, I'm, I'm looking at that. I need 16 BBC. Six. <laughs> he on that pink cocaine zesty out of his mind, man. His sons try to console him. He kissing all on the kids and all that. Like that, chill. Like I love you. I'm home. <laughs> He emotional. The twins had to move out of the house and all that. Look at this, man. Y'all need to see this because this ain't no laughing matter. They talking about he trying to take down Quincy. Jo if he do that, Quincy Jones going to turn his ass into a frog. Oh my goodness. All he going to be able to do is bark the rest of his career. He going to give DMX a run for his money. Y'all got to see this, man. Quincy dissed the shit out of Diddy and his musical credibility said he couldn't recognize a B flat if it hit him. Producer quickly backtracks and says he has nothing but love and respect for Diddy and all that he has achieved as an artist. But he said he dumb as rocks and he don't even know how to play a damn keyboard. Look, man. Quincy Jones called him out like you ain't nothing but a little bitch. You don't know how to play no guitar. You don't know how to play no piano. He said he wouldn't know a B flat if it hit him. How you gonna be a music producer and you don't know how to produce no music? He don't know the difference between a, a chord, a string, or none of that shit. The only reason why he in position is because he mastered the art of being zesty, man. They put him in position because he don't mind being put in positions, man. Oh my goodness. He know his hoes. Like this little slut. Like we're using you. I'm not about to get out there and sing that song and do that dance. That's not the shit I do. I don't want to be a rapper. I don't like rappers. Just do sing the damn song, make the money, give me the money, I'll give you the chains. You make the money and I'll give you the jewelry. Diddy, I'll get you a house. You can have one of my old houses. It don't make a difference to me. Just sell the shit so I don't have to go out there and make a fool out of myself. That's the deal, man. These dudes don't know how to read. They don't know how to write. They don't know nothing. And the music that they sampling is some shit that Quincy Jones made. That's how they could easily clear a sample. Like, oh. Who man, where you get that sample? Oh shit, let me call up Quincy. Oh my goodness. We got a Diana Ross song, I'm coming up. You know, we need to, we need you to clear that ASAP. Boy, you wanna make this money, don't you? All right, clear the sample, put the song out. This is a shit, I might as well get in there and do it myself. Did it? What is this? You don't know the difference between a B flat and a C flat. Yeah, I know the song because it's my music. Look, how about you take my whole catalog? Do, you're the king of the remix. Just remix the shit and put it back out there. We invented the remix. Y'all see that? All of them records, he remixing. Clive Davis and Quincy and all them dudes already made them songs. If that's good business, take my song and put it back out. Okay, it's double the money, double up, double up. Got Mace in the studio talking about double up. Some shit he heard from Clive Davis. Look at this. Put it out once, put it out twice. We're going on the third round. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all need to see this, man. <clears throat> oh, come on. Gloria. See this, man. Cause there's some shit that's happening right now. Hold on. Y'all need to see this too. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like I'm on Doc's Daily tonight. Yo, y'all need to feel me on this, man. Nicki Minaj got a song on the radio right now. 
sampling the lights out of Gloria Stefan. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Y'all heard that bull. She making a billion dollars for Gloria Stefan right now. Song came out a hundred years ago. Nicki Minaj done remixed it, refreshed it. And guess who making that money, yeah? Quincy Jones, Clive, Gloria Stefan. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Keep on sampling, y'all. They get in the way with a fat bag off a of hip hop behalf and ain't even got to pick up a mic. Got Alicia Keys sitting on his lap with Swiss beats. He in the corner crying. Alicia don't give a damn about nobody if somebody else in the room got more money than everybody. She all on Usher at the concert. Swiss beats hurt. Rest in peace to Whitney Houston, man. But like I said, this ain't no beat up on Clive Davis video. And we ain't even talking bad about Quincy Jones. I'm just here to let y'all know that Diddy looking for a scapegoat. And he would be justified if he tried to go that route. But <clears throat> he's not a respectable person. You can't take down respectable people, man. Look at this, man. I need to see this. I'm about to open the phone lines in a minute. So y'all get ready to call in. Quincy Jones said, we all knew about R. Kelly and Jussie Smollett and all that. Look. It wasn't no secret. That's what, they, hey man, you know, that's the music industry. Kids, they gotta get banged. Oh he said a lot, even when he just speaks a little, scoffing at people who were surprised by R. Kelly. Like, it ain't just R. Kelly, it's all of them. It is, you name it. They ain't nothing but a bunch of Pink Panthers looking for some kids, man. You can't trust a, a grown man with a cane now every all them pimps that be snorting that yola they a bunch of pink panthers too with their head down their back with their nails done man if anybody know quincy jones know he created the whole damn mojo for this shit said it wasn't even those like why y'all making a big deal out of something that everybody knew while he's signing autographs and doing his thing man hold on y'all he knew kells personally like that's him whenever he point down at your head he's basically telling you you his son oh again another one like, there go there. That's the motherfucker right there. You thought I was bad? This is my number one gremlin. R. Kelly. Don't work the shit out that man. Him and Jussie smell it. He in the juke joint waiting. Like, oh, he came here to do a deal. Well, okay. Look at the accomplishments, man. And I never disrespect my elder. I got love for Quincy Jones. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. He put one leg up on them niggas like, ah, like I'll show you the real Diddy. Oh my I invented that dance. Like I'm the Mad Hatter, the Pink Panther. Let's get it, baby. Threw a leg up and put his tongue out like Jordan. Like, uh huh. Like I got y'all ass. He invented the whole fucking groove, man. Even Ludacris in the song with the Pink Panther music talking about he coming for the number one spot, man. Y'all need to see this, man. And all this stuff is alleged allegations, man. Quincy, he made some beautiful music, man. It was never profane, never raunchy. It was always classy. You ain't got no choice but to respect a man like that. But when you get with a booty bass rapping, freak, freak, lick, lick, lick you from your head to your toes, ass rapper. That raised a lot of eyebrows. When you push him against your bosoms, 
and make him wear his shirt unbuttoned so you can see the taco meat. Something ain't right with that. He look like I sure did. I like, come here, honey. Like, yeah, I'm talking to you. You want to make some money? Let me tell you something. I'm the abracadabra. Next thing you know, your ass a platinum selling rapper. I need to see that zesty ass video they did, man. Him and Dr. Dre looking like twins these days, man. Nigga, suck your soul. No diddy. Had Kendrick Lamar sitting on the couch with him talking chit chat, talking turkey. Like Kendrick, I knew you was SD the first time I ever seen you. You know, anybody that rap like that and ain't talking about shit, and something that got to be wrong. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and you know, the Pink Panther can actually get you where you want to go if that's what you're always talking about. Lucy, ain't you? You know, that's your thing. Lucy this, Lucy that. Well, you know, have some of this Pink Panther. I see. A booty ain't nothing but ass. You know, you spread it like that, and that's the end of the story. Kendrick, that's pretty much, that's all it really is, young man. He don't talk turkey with the best of them, and they'll listen. They'll do anything. Like, sit your ass up there. Let me teach you something. Get up there. Now, this one I'm have you do. You're going to sit up there until I'm ready. And when I get ready, young man... Who knows what they be talking about? But I need you. We going to get in the ditty. And I ain't trying to go overboard with the zest. But y'all need to see something real quick that I know a lot of people ain't heard. So, Reg, get this set up. Get it set up the right way. Y'all y'all need to listen at this, man. Popsicles with Quincy Jones. Oh my he wants you to come down there and suck on something. He wants you there, man. He wants you to... When you come through the door, you're going to see all them Grammys and shit. Your ass going to be stuck like, wow. Now, come have a popsicle, young man. Yes, I, I see you in the game. How about you come through? Yo, know, Bill Cosby taught me a trick back in the 50s. Oh a pudding pop or get anything going. A big black pudding pop. If you're willing, then you're willing for anything. Oh, you should try it if, 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 if you can get somebody to put a pudding pop in their mouth and they'll pretty much do anything. It's the oldest trick in the book. That's why they invented pudding pops for black BBCs. Hold on, man. How do you see this? He put you on. As soon as he opened up the wrapper, he waiting to see what you're going to do. You gonna slap that big hunk of chocolate in your mouth for what? Oh no diddy. Like, oh, pudding pops my favorite. Who wants a pudding pop? Like you give him one of these. If he goes for it, then oh boy. Put some big, put a chocolate stick in your mouth. They need to make some pudding pops and put Snoop Dogg on the co on the cover. Like you could get a fat stick in your mouth. These kids ain't got no business. She about to break her arm getting in that. Yeah, get that. This shit ain't right. Get that off the screen. But get her off the screen, bro. Kids ain't got no business eating no pudding pops. It's disgusting. It's a perverted black man's fantasy. Get that off the screen, man. Shit. Lil Nas X showed up. He came down there, shuck on shum. And Quincy, he looking like, oh boy. Like, I didn't think he'll come, but he came. It's gonna come again. Oh my it's some bad business. Hold on, look. On the wrong path. Get so stuff together. It's that simple. Every day, Ray Charles and I said we will. He got that man with the pudding pot. They both sucking on putties. Y'all see this shit? Got little Nas X sucking on the putty. With the the Diddy demon in the back. Like, this is the original Diddy. People didn't know that, but once you get close to this thing, it's gonna consume your soul. 
They sitting there talking turkey. Lil Nas X look eager. Like, what's next? Like, what's, what are we going to do? Like, you really want... He thinking about it. Like, am I really about to be with this old ass motherfucker? Oh my goodness. Like, he's kind of old. I don't know. He got Will Smith written all over him, man. Like, you want some Pink Panther or what, young man? What, what it's going to be? I know you're young. You're young and you're dumb. But this shit has set you 30 years ahead. I'm trying to tell you. Back in my day. Like, see, I like eating popsicles, but I don't want to. You sound just like Michael, motherfucker. You remind me of somebody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've been here before. Plenty of times I've seen young men like you. There's a reason why you're here, little Nazi. I've seen you plenty, plenty of lifetimes ago. I know it sounds crazy. But you remind me of somebody, and I know what you want. You want the money. Ain't nobody got money like me. Like, yeah, got all the Grammys, baby. Like, these Grammys right here is what turned out Tupac Shakur. Let that gangster ass come to my house and see if he leave here, gangster. Oh my goodness. You come up in his house thugging until you see all them Grammys. Your ass gonna come out there twitching like a bitch. Oh my goodness. You gonna hop out the truck looking like Shannon Shaw. Like, oh, got work to do about the sequency, and then I'm going to get my nails done. Yo, and don't think I'm disrespecting Quincy Jones, because I never disrespect my elders. But y'all need to see this, man. And we're going to talk about Diddy, but he done. So we could talk about other stuff in the meantime, man. Get this together, Quincy. If y'all want to blame Diddy, y'all got to go to the origins of all this, man. Shit, he used to be Lil Nas X back in the day. Trying to find some black pictures of him, man, but y'all know how it go. Same conversations, that same gr I wonder if he made Michael Jackson eat the putty pie. Oh my goodness. Lil Nas X, his shit almost gone. And they just start 20 seconds into the video. Look at this. It only been 20 seconds. His pop almost gone. He, this shit was halfway done in 13 seconds, man. Oh <clears throat> he slapped that shit in his mouth as soon as he sat down. Like, damn, you're eager, young man. Your pudding pop almost gone. <laughs> like, damn, take your time, daddy. Take your time. The boy, dude, come on now. You're, you're too eager. You're too see I don't like that. You're too thirsty. I know what you want. Kanye wants the same thing. I know what you want. I know what all y'all want. Y'all don't know how to read. And that damn Diddy, he wouldn't know a D flat if it hit him on his ass. Oh my goodness. I'm like, he's a magician. I've never seen him hold the instrument before. How in the hell is he a magician? Because Clive Davis threw a bunch of money in the damn bank. I could have gave him the money and said he just wanted to be with Clyde because his mother would rather see him with a white man. That's the only difference. If it wasn't for his mother, he would be with me. His mother couldn't stand the fact that this is her son working for a black man. She'd been working with white people her whole life. She, she just wanted to see her son be with Clyde. I could have easily gave him the money but before Tupac, before they eliminated his crazy ass. Oh my goodness. I was going to give him the money. And he was going to take it. He was dating my daughter. I told him Tupac, you know, honey, honey, Tupac, honey, baby, honey. Oh hey, Tupac, don't, don't be like that. I've seen those interviews when you were in high school. I know exactly who you are, young man. Don't see you, this gangster shit. Got y'all kids out here tripping. Tupac supposedly planned to leave death row. But Quincy Jones, like, sure, I'm leaving. Like, I'm going through life, nigga. I ain't going to be able to show up. Like, I found me another man. Like, oh, you going to leave me? Cut. Hold on. You said you about to go where? Hold on, blood. Oh Come on, pop. You trip, pop. I love you, pop. What you doing, pop? Don't, pop. don't, pop. Like, sure, I'm going elsewhere. Like, I knocked your bitch. That's why you're mad. I knocked your bitch. You know you had him. You thought it was yours until he seen my Grammys. Oh my 
Like when I see see Quincy Jones, he he tried to knock my 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 my, my bitch. When I oh, when I see that nigga, it's it's, it's gonna be on blood. Nigga wanna wanna sick his daughter on pot, have his have his daughter his daughter on pot when she just a, a, a mule for for fucking daddy. Diddy do the same thing with his kids, cuz be Lauren motherfucker over there with his kids. No damn well that that pot don't want to be her her, her scrawny ass. Hey, no disrespect to Tupac. This is all entertainment, man. But it is what it is. Diddy ain't the only devil in the game. <clears throat> I'll show y'all a bigger Diddy than the diddler. Y'all need to see this, man. This the original Puff Daddy. That should have been his name. A, a devil with a cigar. He the he that's the real fucking panther right there. The Joker for real. He do Diddy better than Diddy ever did Diddy. It wasn't no competition. Suge was the goddamn diddler. Oh my goodness. For real. And he wasn't cutting no corners, man. But the problem with Suge Knight is he wouldn't shut his mouth, man. Suge didn't know how to shut up. And Tupac didn't know how to shut up. Oh my goodness. And that's why they had to go. Telling too many secrets. Like Dr. Dre used to be a sheet thing. We seen Dr. Dre. You with the lipstick, nigga. We seen you. Like, yeah, he a buster. Yup, Dr. Dre got banged in his booty, y'all. Oh, my goodness. And you're not supposed to be talking like that, man. You know who else can't shut their damn mouth? And this the reason why people be getting canceled, man. When you talk too much, you got them loose lips. They ain't going to rock with you no more. Look at this, y'all. Another one that don't know how to shut his damn mouth. And he if you if anybody the Pink Panther is him. He stayed with the hat and the cane. Talking about his favorite artist is Prince. He the up Pink Panther, y'all. And I know that's y'all boy. But it is what it is. Hold on, look at this. Look, this Cat Williams all the way. Oh it looked like he about to go do a comedy special. He's a true showman. I tell you that much. This man got the hat, the cat, and the hat. Nigga named Cat. Oh my goodness. Pink Panther equals Cat Williams, man. And shout out to Cat, but come on now. He got the whole profile, just like the rest of them, but he just don't know how to, he talk too much. Hold on. Nigga, stay with the hat. The cat in the hat. Running his mouth. And probably with that pink cocaine, man. And the cat in the hat his whole career. Him and Shug. They talk too much. Y'all see that? Okay, that's Negro Hino there. Shout out to Cat Williams as well. This is all entertainment. Now, we've been doing a lot of back and forth about Quincy Jones and, and um, Diddy and Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, Al B. Shore. All this stuff is alleged allegations. We had a good time doing that, but we got to get into the other half of the video, man. I hope you all ready for it. We about to open up them phone lines and we going to get into these video clips. So if you're watching the video, Make sure you do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button. And if you really feel in the video, go ahead and join the channel. It's a whole bunch of perks, secret videos. It's like Mortal Kombat Crypt once you join the channel, man. So I encourage y'all to do that. But until then, 
we got to get back into this, man. Y'all need to hear what's exactly what's recently going on with your boy Diddy. Listen at this, y'all. Number two of rapper Sean Diddy Combs' homes were raided in connection to a federal human trafficking investigation. His attorney is now accusing the government of a witch hunt. New TMZ photos show the moment federal agents confronted Diddy at a Miami airport Monday. In the photos is Combs' alleged drug mule who was arrested on drug charges. The raids come after several sexual assault lawsuits were filed against Combs. This is a great way to kind of uh, deliver a shock and awe uh, uh, message to anybody connected with Sean that this is, uh, we're serious and we're coming after him and you better cooperate or you're going to be left in the wake. Combs has not been arrested or charged, but legal experts believe the feds are building their case against him. Combs' attorney says his client is cooperating with authority. Man, I hate to do this, man. And I hate to be the one to do this all the time. But let me explain something to y'all real quick. <clears throat> oh, man, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing. Reg, hold, hold on, man. Let's let's get it right before we even go there with everybody, man. Um. All right, let's take it from here. These are the movies that's popping in 2024. This is what they got to offer to the world. The days of the Matrix is over. The days of the Terminator and the big blockbuster movies that only come once in a lifetime is over. These movies, you don't seen them before. They put the remix on it like Diddy. Because you got big time music executives living just like Clive Davis and Quincy Jones, like I told y'all. And the new movie producers can't do nothing but put the spin on some shit from one of the greats of the past. And the reason why it's like this is because they don't really want to pay nobody for real while they hold on to all the real currency. Because back in the day, you had to actually go to a box office to see a movie. But today, everybody got Netflix, a million apps, HBO. Ain't nobody trying to go to the movies and all that. So why would they want to pay somebody? Same thing with music. Back in the day, you had to go and buy a CD, had to buy a cassette. It was even better when you had to buy a record. It was more organic. Nowadays, people ain't got to buy a motherfucking oh thing. So where is all these people getting this money from while they out here rapping with all these chains and ain't nobody buying music? Well, they give them that Pink Panther. Make sure they got their cat daddy shit down pat. So when they hit the stroll, they could easily get pimped out. Now they calling it pink cocaine. Oh and the whole music industry is a facade like the broke ass people on TikTok, man. But the reason why I pulled this up is because Revolt is a multi-million dollar media company. And one thing for sure, media sells. Your CD might not sell, but people gonna listen to the news, especially if it got some urban flavor like Shannon Sharp acting like his whole plan wasn't to be zesty. Like he ain't executing the plan when he hop out the truck looking zexy. Like he ain't executing the plan when he show up to a basketball game with a well-known zesty man looking zesty, man. It's all about media. Get people talking. It's buzzing. Hold on, man. I can't even finish my theory. We got a phone call. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. Come on, man. Yo, what's up? Man, yo, yo, what's going on, bro? How you feel? And I love the fact that you called in, man. And I know you got something great you got to say because I was explaining something to the people they was all very interested in. So I know what you got to say going to be even more interesting what I was trying to say, man. So what you got to say? I'm calling all the way from Las Vegas, family. And this P. Diddy BS, cousin, it's a very And we need you to cut that off in the background. This is supposed to be a five-star presentation, bro. It was going good. Got the lights and the cameras, all this action and all that. And you got, we dropping stuff over here. You got that. Did you cut that off in the background, please? I just did. And you I'm still like, got it on. I can hear it now. Hey, Diddy, cut it down. 
Uh, we want to thank you for interrupting and blasting and flushing my talk, flushing my whole channel down the toilet like doo doo. We want to thank you for calling in and wiping your butt and peeing on the toilet paper and then flushing it down with the rest of my video, man. Because that ain't even make no you. sense. Did you cut that off or no? Yes, I did. You don't hear any anymore, family. You know, this is my first time calling in. I didn't know you roll like that. Well, wow, you know that the, your jaw roll like that when you trying to call in. You ain't gonna call your boss with the shit blasting in the background talking about, oh, I'm sick. You over yeah, there having family. a gangster party in the background. Like you ain't call, like this an unprofessional establishment and all that. I'm sorry about that family, but, boom, but one thing your black ass got wrong, I don't have a boss. I am the boss. I run, I, I run one of the major um, trucking companies in Las Vegas. You feel me? Oh my goodness. Do I have your attention? Look, I ain't know uh -huh. you was I ain't know you was a boss like that, Daddy. I ain't, you got me yeah, over here like feeling that. like Diddy right yeah. now. Like I ain't know you yeah. was a boss like yeah. that, Daddy. Talking about nah, my black that. ass. You only what you what you worry about yeah. my black ass. <laughs> got me That's feeling like Diddy, thing. Daddy. Go. Now, now, now. And you now, balling, you balling, you got a I'm truck, you got you a truck. Okay. okay, okay, okay. You down there in Georgia, right? Okay, yes, yes, I'm in Georgia, yes. Okay, I got some family down in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. They don't act like you. Okay. If you want right? to get saucy, I could get saucy with you, Zaddy. That's what you're trying to do. Hey, you want to do a competition on who could be more zesty? I just, I just get to I do it. Nah, That's what like you want to do with your black ass, with your black ass, with your black ass. <laughs> I feel you, but you know, I'm going to do that. Everybody feel me because they know that you zesty. No, 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 no. What you know about that live da da da? That's what I'm doing. Since I am the owner of one of the major. Um, trucking companies in Vegas. And I'm the owner of the Sean Blazer that, YouTube blah, blah, blah. channel. Cuz, and if you ever want to call in and, and, and be respectful, call Sean Blazer Until then, we're we going to holler at you later, man. Ooh. Called up here like I ain't the boss, cuz. My shit, I don't give a damn what you do for a living. You ain't paying me, nigga. This paying me, cuz. This boss stabs me right here, cuz. You get your funky ass up out of here, cuz. I'm up in here stanking and tripping with boo boo on your pants, man. Get your dusty, the, 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 dusty ass out of here, cuz. Oh oh, his problem is, man. The call here, like, I, I ain't Logan. What the? What wrong here, cuz? Hello, hello. Up, this man? Is? Yeah, yeah. I want to be part of this show. Call back. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Dre. Yo, what it do, bro? What's on your mind tonight? I was watching your show. I don't know who that guy was that you just been talking to and you know, kind of zest him out or whatever. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Yeah. But Diddy, okay. Diddy is guilty, guilty. You know why? All those people would not have spoke up about him, about his actions. Two, he was kind of stupid for video and all this stuff. Thing that he was above the law. Three, he's running. If you didn't do nothing, why would you run? Four, why would he pay somebody to sh shut up? See, two things I learned about humans. Money, um, put it this way, the love of money can mess you up. You get big-headed and stupid. Look at Jeffrey Epstein. Look at all the rest of them. R. Kelly. Chug Knight. See, money man. makes you stupid. <clears throat> the love. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, bro. You, you, I hear what you're saying, yeah. but what you got to understand is that we live in a new time, a new era. Money ain't really nothing like that. People out here, they TikToking. They got um, Snapchat. They got um, Cash App. Like People, they could get a bag if they want to get a bag. Uber. Oh, fuck, they out here, Amazon and it. Look, if you really ain't lazy, you can make it happen. If you got uh, enough brain cells, you can get out there and make it happen. If you got the courage, you can make it. I hear what you're saying, but we living in a new era. What I'm trying to explain to the people is this, bro. 
if anything gonna sell, it's gonna be water and news. Oh my goodness. Media is selling, man. Diddy was a part of Revolt TV. And if they really want to take it to the next level, they really want to be the number one news media. How about your spokesman get caught up in some scandals? It been going on for years. It's it's big. He like a movie star right now. Diddy is bigger than Michael Jackson right now. He bigger than Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's the he's action primetime TV right now. And it's selling. It's the media. They hype over, emphasize, over, overdo it. Put them dopamines in your brain. Got you out here acting stupid, talking about billionaires, and you probably ain't even got a hundred thousand oh dollars. It ain't even that deep. People, people ain't worried about voting. People ain't worried about what's really going on. The prices of everything keep on going up. People ain't making a fuss about that, but everybody making a fuss about Diddy. Oh my you, gotta remember, you gotta remember two things. One, there's some people above you and in charge and allow certain people to have money and whatever, as long as they do what they want them to do, okay? They can let you make as much as you want but as soon as you step on their toes, then they cut you down. They, the same thing yeah. did the same thing did have been doing is getting evidence on people and, and destroying their lives. Bro. There's these white people above him that's doing the exact same thing. How do thing. that affect you, my brother? Personally, how do this Diddy situation affect you? Because you invested, and I respect that. Because you invested enough to call in and everything, and we having a conversation about it. But honestly, how much do this Diddy situation affect you personally? A lot. Multiple. Oh, shit. Uh, Let me show you something. For oh, one, he's supposed to be representing male, black male, bondage okay what he's showing is he's acting more like a slave owner than a black man who's my point exactly and i don't mean no stuff. disrespect bro but you just proved to the world that this diddy situation ain't got a damn thing to do with you now personally on no type of level and i don't mean no disrespect but that smoke alarm is driving me crazy bro and I wonder how no, long that no, needed no. a battery, man. You're going to have to get that fixed. And thank you so much for your phone call. Yo, hello, hello. Yo, I really want to thank him so much for his phone call. That was one of the best phone calls. We're going to put that in the history books. Real talk. How you doing? What's your name, beautiful? <laughs> oh, Sharon. Sharon. You got them tripping today. You got them tripping but uh, this last guy, the other one, he didn't get it. You tried to tell him that it's a new age Ooh. on how you make your money. Yeah. It's over with. You don't have to kiss no butt. You just pull your camera out and make your content. That is it. The middleman is cut out. T-shirts is cut out. No one should be suffering. No one should be talking about, I got to go punch a, a time clock. The new generation is not you worried know, about what we were and you about know, in back in the and day. And you know why they want to have people like that in that mind state? So but they to keep no, them going no, 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 no. They want people in that mind state so they could build a new America right up under your ignorant ass while you ain't what? trying to do no work. It's people that's willing to do the, it's people doing the work and America's looking very beautiful right now. It's a whole bunch of new apartment complexes, new high, it's building mm -hmm. development going on. And guess what? It ain't a whole lot of brothers out there helping with the building. Cause it's all about get money, get money, tick tock, doing that. silly ass dances all day on but social media. That not yet. The dance messes out is pure entrepreneur. Damn, I over talked to her, then her phone broke. I need to stop doing that. Oh Are you still my there? My phone didn't break. Oh, I yeah, thought I I'm lost you. Here. I'm over here mourning you, you and you still phone. there. The other two? Got so you much see how you threw that you, man my... off? Yeah, I did. You see how that man said he gonna come to Atlanta to get he you? He did, man. <laughs> and I, yeah, I threw him off and I'm, I'm <laughs> acting crazy. I'm gonna shut up and let your beautiful self say whatever you... I said enough on the show already. I want to hear what you I got to say. You. I appreciate I you. your show. Thank you so much. No doubt. All right, off to the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. I never say <laughs> bye bye. I, did she? Uh, oh, oh she God. broke my broke my heart. I thought we was becoming friends. Or, I 
guess she didn't want to stay. But, mm, maybe she'll call back the next time I go live. A conversation that got me feeling like LL Cool J. I need love. I see you. I love you. Oh my goodness. Anyways, man. It's all about the media, yeah. News is news. And the, the more fucked up it is, the more it's going to sell. Because somebody named Sean Blazerton started with these conspiracy theories and it sounded good. Everybody took my sauce and added sugar. Oh I was pouring nothing but Hennessy for years. Now you got people pouring Kool-Aid, grape drink, some dude, Gary's tea. You got um, Tasha K. She's sipping on wine. You're welcome, Tasha K. Oh You're welcome. Because when I was shooting down people for drinking tea, doing girly gossiping and spilling tea and spilling that Hennessy, now you want to spill the wine. You got the whole wino gang rocking with you. Tasha, thank you very much. My sister, my beautiful Tasha K, doing the Sean Blazerton thing, but you ain't doing it like me, baby. Because I always let them know about them allegations and speculations. Why are you trying to be the, the female Sean Blazerton? With them fabricated stories, you risking your motherfucking life for real. I did it for the documentations, which are completely alleged and allegated. Come on, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah. Dre again. We got it's a one phone you, call Dre. minimum. Now your shit got a zero call minimum. Why he do that? And he old. We trying to keep the swag going. Just because it got Quincy Jones on the thumbnail, that don't mean nothing. And I ain't trying to be rude to the callers, but don't be goofy with me. I turn into Big Daddy Shook oh and, and, and really be a joker on your ass. You want to see how a boss do it? You need to subscribe to Sean Blazer, nigga. Get your motherfucking f f f feelings hurt playing with a boss. You got to blink your eyes real hard before you say something hard. Hold on. We got another phone call, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Come on. I heard your last broadcast with the gentleman. It's about people committing crimes against people. Hold on, where, where are you about... from, bro? Did you find another phone number and call in from another? You called back too? Yep. Y'all tag team and Zesties tonight. No, I'm the same person. Man, Dre. Quinn, you a Quincy man, Jones man, man, got, fan. A Quincy phones. Jones Ooh. fan. These Quincy Jones fans calling up here. That might have been Quincy Jones playing. Sound like he 80 years old, chew tobacco, know how to play the flute. He say he got his own company. That could have been Quincy Jones' little brother or somebody. Oh my goodness. Shit, that's the last time he he better get another phone number. That's the only way he gonna be able to call back. Man, I wanna change my phone number. Yes, I wanna change it so I can call Sean, but I wanna call him back. Yo, hello, hello, hey, who this is? What's hello. going on, who this be? I this is Brooklyn. You don't know my voice right now? Hell no. Oh, stop acting. I remember a couple of months ago, you used to ask me if I was related to Mike Tyson because I said I was from Brooklyn. Oh, you don't remember that? No, that ain't why I asked you if you was related yeah. to Mike Tyson. Okay, but you remember who I was, though, okay? Yeah, because you was talking like Tyson and you was spitting all on the phone. You is lying. Stop lying. This is where I talk, honey. Don't even go there. So what's going on tonight? So I see your show is popping. So we talking about Puff Daddy. Um, I feel that Puff Daddy was his time was up. So you honey. called in because the show popping. The when the show only had five people watching, you ain't want to call. <laughs> but since the nah, show, since I like your show. No, I said your show be popping, meaning your show is good. I'm always going to call. Come on, start acting up. <laughs> start acting up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh please! Mm -hmm. You know I had to call in and start with you today because I ain't talked to you in a long time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Hennessy. You, you said the show pot. You said it with extra lip gloss on your lips. Like, what's up, Sean? What's going on? You trying to get all chummy chummy now? Oh, please, honey. No, I'm not. No, you sprayed on perfume and put your lip gloss on extra thick. Like, Sean, what's the problem? <laughs> what you doing, Daddy? I see you popping, Daddy. What's up? Uh-uh. 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 You is funny. You are Yo, funny. let me ask you this, mm-hmm. man. Is Diddy the biggest well, freak in the game? Because you got to think. It's been, Michael Jackson was on some weird guy stuff, too, man. But Diddy might be the weird. When, it's, when they crack this shit all the way open... With the with the Epstein mm-hmm. shit and the weirdo, the Kim Porter mm-hmm. and all that, like he might be the oh. worst story in American history. Oh, I already said that, and I'm from New York. I, I already said that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm he he done. He done. Man, I don't want to see it. Why? I don't want to see him exposed I, like that. I, listen, I know he's a black man, but do you really think he care for us, or you really think he only care for what he can get? I That's love I love the facade. I love the facade that he created. Like, I love um, Hulk Hogan, the facade, the ultimate, all the great wrestlers got great facades. And Diddy, this, these rappers are like wrestlers. They create a facade that people consume because they like the facade. But people so ignorant, you fail to realize that it's wrestling. It's a facade. That's why they sounded like action heroes talking about shit that nobody will ever do. They ain't do none of that stuff that they talk about because if they did, they would be in jail and they would be telling on themselves for even talking about it. It's a facade. We fell in love with it. It's a, a humorous facade. He's a dancing idiot, a joker. That's what he is. We like the joker. Ever yeah, since we first seen Diddy, when we first <laughs> yes. seen him on the video, you knew yes. he was the damn joker. <laughs> and he's a real big joker now he's the joker of los angeles whatever he at right now so <laughs> hey man diddy whoever he really is is hurt right now and that's the sad part about it man the facade probably somewhere laughing but the real person is somewhere crying his eyes out right now okay well listen what comes in the dark coming in the light i mean you got people out right here with Already talking about Puff Daddy, but he kept his mouth closed because he already know if he say too much, everybody's going to watch. But nobody ain't dumb. Wendy Williams called him out 1990, whatever year, and he fired her off Hot 97. I mean, he knew he was in that situation. He just ain't nobody wanted to know. He was trying to keep everything in the closet. But he going down the world history, he wasn't in everybody. I don't care who it is, the mob. Um, R. Kelly, um, How can you take J. that away from me? J. After all I did for the people, I made hot hits. He ain't do nothing for nobody but the people things. in Harlem. I did things too. for Harlem. I did things for all the people across the world. I showed love. I made positive hey, music. Did. I made positive music in a time when positive, <laughs> when when music was negative. I did positive shit. I'm Puff Daddy. I show love to people. I'm brother love. You can't tell me that my music can't make you want to dance, move your ass. Get fresh, get money, buy a new car. A lot of people went to college listening to my shit, man. A lot of people became entrepreneurs because of Puff Daddy, man. I influenced a lot of people in a positive way. I'm brother love. Y'all can't be talking about me like that. Ain't nobody perfect. But guess what? Y'all ain't perfect either. And if you had millions of dollars, ain't no telling what you would do. Did you ever think that you would be this rich? Did you ever think that you would dry this six? Yeah, y'all, y'all ain't never, y'all yeah. ain't never let my life to talk about me. You ain't never been in my position. You, yeah. ain't, you ain't never been in my mm. shoes. How can you talk about right. a man that you don't even know? If you knew me, you would love me. And the reason why you love me, because I would love you. What you talking about? I'm brother. Mm. I'm Diddy. I'm brother love. Don't do me like that. You said the whole. Take that. 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 You need I to take, take that. that. No, no, no. Because what you doing, you chasing Cloud. You call this nigga video, and you ain't even know I was over here chilling, man. You know, Sean Blaze, this is my name right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to all the people showing me love out there, you know. And, and when, when, when all this shit gets straightened out, y'all going y'all gonna to see what it is. Because Usher went through the same shit. Usher, see, if, yep. if Usher's Justin listening. Justin Bieber, too. If Don't Usher, forget about Justin Bieber. Usher, Don't if, forget about Jamie Foxx. Come on, just name them more. Usher, if you listening. Playboy, when you mm-hmm. was going through it, when you was going through it, Playboy, I showed you, I showed you nothing but love. Like, where's the love, Usher? I'm a, I'm a, if I get exposed, Usher, I got these pictures. 
Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna do you like that because I'm trying to be a changed man. But Usher, if this was back in the 90s and you tried to play me like Tupac, mm, man, mm. Look, I don't even want to talk about the past. Y'all know what it is. New York City stand up. Where y'all at? Right here in the building. Mm -hmm. Look at you rocking with Diddy. See? Mm hmm. Nah, I ain't rocking mm -hmm. with Diddy. I'm from New York, mm -hmm. bro. I'm just saying what it is. You too, nigga. You from New York, mm -hmm. too. And when you it just blow over, right now. when it blow over, <laughs> and which it will, and when it blow over, you're going to be like, that's Diddy. Oh, please. Yep. No, I yep. ain't going to say it's yep. Diddy. I'm not going to say Diddy. I ain't got no respect yep. for Diddy. I ain't got no respect for Diddy. What he did to my people, nope. Biggie, nope. Allegedly, and Tupac. Ain't when nobody get, wearing my P Diddy. When he get back on his feet, like how Usher got back on P. his Diddy feet. Diddy is not getting back on his feet. You can they forget that. They said that about Usher. See? They said that about Usher. Yeah, Usher but got Usher a ain't going around uh, allegedly killing people over no book or trying to hide the secrets that come in the closet like all these, uh, like Usher. R. Kelly said. Usher pulled the, the lick. Usher pulled the lick by you, going with that media okay. bullshit. <laughs> okay. So, hold on. Let me show you something, man. The Usher situation mm, was some I'm media. watching the video. The Usher situation was some media bullshit, man. And I'm going to prove it to y'all. All right. Y'all need to see this, man. This is All a right. joke. Like, one. Usher was not... They wanted to sell some newspapers, some mag. Like, can you believe Usher was with her? Like, hmm? Like my name, <laughs> my name Big, and I with us in the hotel room, and uh, she just reading the script, and they're like, mm hmm, big media, big box. I was gonna make a killing. Usher had his humiliation ritual. Now he got a residency. Yeah, right he got a residency mm. in Vegas, balling and shit. He got a compound. Mm. He just rolling in dough. He the real good Joker. Did he probably taught him how to be the Joker? Y'all need to see this real quick. This man living like a fat rat. First video ever. Top hat with the patch with the Joker looking like the Pink Panther and all that. I told y'all how it go. Quincy Jones put you in the game, baby. I'll show you how to be a showman. You get out there just like they did in the 20s with the hat, with the, with the cane. Like, I'll show you how to get this money, baby. Put your ass out there. Did he had that man? Hold on, where the picture at? Damn, we don't. <laughs> there it go. Look at him. The whole video. He diddied it up. Yeah. Had the cane. Had Tyrese in the video. They was. He was the man. He was in a, a amusement park. He was the Joker in the whole video. I show you how to do this, son. Neo did it too. Like I'm gonna show you a showman, like Black Entertainment. Don't forget about the legends. He'll put mm -mm. you in them old shoes. You go over to his house. He had you stand in Michael Jackson's shoes. You like the way them shits feel like, oh, these was actually Michael's shoes? Like, yep, young man, those was Michael's shoes. And try on that jacket. Reach in that closet. All oh, Usher. Usher, look at you in Michael's jacket. Look at your ears. You look like MJ, motherfucker. Uh-uh. You know how it go, man. I mean... Showmanship. It's black entertainment. We love it, but who cares what happens behind the curtain? Y'all stay from behind the curtain. Y'all in the audience. Y'all just enjoy the show. I am. I always do. I always do. Always like to hear how you always come out and do your work. Yeah, man. It's but, a show, man. Everybody just need to enjoy. Sit back and don't ruin yeah, so the entertainment. How you feel about Young Miami? You think she was in the um, freak show too? <laughs> Why she ain't say nothing? Why she ain't say poppy, poppy? Come on, man. Wait a minute. Wait, yet. wait, 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 wait. If Diddy is goofy, <laughs> if they say he is, it wasn't no freak show with Young Miami. He wasn't even, they didn't even have a sexual attraction. Let's but be they real. Say she was a you ain't see no, you no, ain't see no chemistry. You ain't see no chemistry. I mean, be honest, yeah, allegedly, I thought he was dating Sochi Santana. She was just a cover up. Yo, man, we want to thank you so much for your very Brooklyn phone call, man. <laughs> well, that's what happened. And, and finish them cheese doodles, man, because you, you waiting for them and all that. We're going to holler at you nah, so much. Nigga, we don't love please. you to death, no doubt. Eat your cheese doodles. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? And thank her this so much Ta for her phone call. My bad, brother. What you say now? This is Taiwan from Texas. Somebody, I to say somebody from Taiwan going to call in. Talking about they from Texas, man. Ain't that what you said? Yep, yep. Taiwan, Taiwan from, from Texas. Texas. 
I yep. know I'm from Texas. What if somebody from Texas was living in Taiwan? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. I used to date a girl named China though. Where she was from? Yeah, but I wanted to talk about uh something that was a little bit off topic though. Um I wanted to get your opinion on like Kanye and his whole involvement with the P. Diddy situation. Shit, Kanye was just another fan that flew in on the Rockefeller boat. When he got around Diddy, he was in all like, oh my God, it's Diddy, uh, 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 all on his nuts. He's like, okay, daddy, right. okay, all right. He, he, Kanye was acting like a happy dog, all on that man's leg, like, calm down, pet on him a little bit, like, it's gonna be all right, you know, I know I'm Diddy. And, oh, okay, you were you rolling with Rockefeller? Okay, cool. Just just calm down a little bit, cause you you all up on me like a little groupie right now. He probably had to calm Kanye West down. Right, right. So you think you think Jay Z on the same level, the same the same type of time uh, P Diddy on? I think Jay Z is a genius, my brother. I right. think Jay Z is a complete genius. He's the f if Diddy the Joker, Jay Z is like Superman or Batman. He more like Batman, Bruce Wayne. That's Jay Z. Like he, he the law. He the law. Right. He's so much of the law. His wife is a cow girl. Oh my goodness. Like he called the big shots, Billy. You got Beyonce hey, with a I with a cowboy up, hat. Hold up, homie. The, you got Beyonce with a cowboy hat on. She the law. Right. Like, you ain't going to go at. How you going to do that? You going to be effing with American music. It's bigger than rap. Right. Like, come on, man. She doing country. She a country star now. How they going to touch him? He like Bruce Wayne or some shit. Oh, my God. oh, Billy. Man, come on. He on some other shit. And throwing the up deuces. Bring... Oh, man. Right, right. The only reason I bring that up, though, is because, um, Somebody was mentioning to me, they said that, like, once you get to that certain level of fame or whatever, that's when they start coming after you, you know what I'm saying? And man. trying to Come get, on, get you in their control. Come and my, on. my theory with Kanye was, like, maybe he's doing all this crazy shit to keep his fame in check, you know what I'm saying? So he don't go past that certain level to where he has to be involved in that shit, you know what I'm saying? You said Kanye and not involved in it? Well, no, I'm saying like, what if, what if the reason why he keeps on doing these things to ruin his reputation is so he doesn't surpass that certain level of fame? You know what I'm saying? It's too late. He don't already did it, man. He don't, he don't did that Diddy dance too. He don't got I mean, out there and did, he did his song and dance and started making rock and roll and shit. He crossed the line. It's one thing to right, cross right. over and go pop, but it's a whole nother thing to get into electrotronics and you start getting wicked with the shit. Like right. you went from Jesus walk on the boom bat beat to doing techno shit. Talking about I ain't right, 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 right around the lamb of guys. It started getting right. weird. This nigga started turning into skeletons and shit in his music videos. Like who you trying to be? Like we thought you was the son of God. Like whoa, whoa. You oh you doing it for the money you trying to get right, a billion dollars nah. and the reason why somebody like Kanye would do some shit like that because he a competitor he want to be bigger than Jay Z he got something to prove he trying to be bigger than Hove like you gonna have to keep it hip hop to be bigger than Hove Jay he ain't do all that weirdo shit hanging around Kanye was a bad look. Like, okay, shit starting right, to get right. weird. Jay had to separate himself. Jay still, he came back with 444. And him saying 444, that shit is forceful. 444. Four, four. He hit you in your face with four fours. And people bowed down and kissed his ring like, hold up, hold up. He talked that grown man talk like, I ain't trying to be a young rapper. What you need to do is buy some land and get some reparations. I ain't, oh, he, he, he was on that shit. You ain't got look. He a African American legend after four four four. I ain't black nigga. I'm OJ. Uh, nigga. Okay. And he got a head full of dreads with a billion dollars in his pocket. Who would have the nerve? What black billionaire would have the nerve to do something like that? And the music video was ugly. It had people, black people, 
Sam Bowles, big lips. He know what time it is. Y'all better quit playing. Over, over, uh, they ain't never gonna get, he the king. He like Julius Caesar or some shit. He was like, woo, they a billionaire. He Jay-Z, woo, I need to call him down. I'm a fan, like y'all ain't touch a whole, woo. He the, he the truth, he the truth. Yeah, look, what'd he say, Lucky Luciano. I'm Lucky Lu Lucky Lucci, baby. <laughs> Y'all better quit play. Woo! Over, over. Fly the flag. What they, they throw the paper plane. Throw the plane, throw the, the, the paper plane. It's light, it's easy, baby. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I, I was just trying to rationalize Kanye's action. No doubt, But man. maybe, maybe you just right. Maybe he just, he just, you know what I'm saying, after the attention or something. Yeah, I hear you, dog. I hear you. And it is what it is. Kanye ain't got nothing to do with this video at all. We ain't mentioned Kanye West, but since you mentioned him, he still ain't got nothing to do with the video, man. He ain't on the thumbnail nowhere or in the title. He ain't in the pictures. Kanye ain't even, you, you tried to make this your show, man. And I gotta bring it no, back no. to my show. I gotta figure out a way to bring it back to my show. Thank you so much to you, brother. And your phone call, it sparked a, a great conversation, man. You a great conversationalist and you got a great thought process, man. I appreciate your input on the video. So the next time when I go live, whatever your theory is, man, feel comfortable to call and explain it, but you gotta do a better job explaining the next time. But we love you to death and we gonna holla at you next time. Real talk. I'm looking forward to talking to him again cause I know next time he call, he gonna be on his A game with it. Hey man, I appreciate the phone call. Damn, it feel like we've been on the phone for like five hours, man. How long was I talk? What time is it? How long was I talking to that guy? Something about him that made me just want to keep my video spicy because he had the milk, man. Oh my I'm gonna save his phone number as Milkman. Oh, there go the milk, man. Cool my shit down. Shit getting too spicy. All to make a sound for him, like ding dong. Oh shit, the milkman calling. Thank him so much for his call. I gotta get back on track. We got another phone call. I'm forgetting what the video about. I'm about to pass out. Oh, oh I'm tripping. I'm about to, I'm about to pass out. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, son. This is Ogoma. Wish me happy birthday. Oh, my goodness. You said this who? Ogoma. Today's my birthday. Ogoma? Obaki. Ogaki? Obaki. Obaki. That's, <laughs> that's your name? Yes. Umbaki. <laughs> Obaki. Umbaki. Yo, there's some Saturday morning cartoon shit happening right now. Oh, my goodness. oh fuck it. One of the Dragon Balls called there, y'all. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. That's oh, kind of wild. Got cartoons and shit calling to the Sean Blazer to show. Oh, God, shit getting creepy. It's getting creepy, man. Anyway, what you got to say, man? What's on your mind? Happy you ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> Come on, man. Why y'all do the that? You, you ain't got. Sorry, oh my God, oh, oh, man. You ain't got a damn, not a damn thing to say. I, do. I know you I don't. Do. You don't even sound like you got nothing to say. I do. You it's do. No, you say. don't. You oh, don't. <laughs> matter of fact, let me hear what you got to say, man. Let me. Let, matter of fact, cut the music off. <laughs> the music. The, uh, the question was: Is Jay the, the biggest freak? Um, Sean, who isn't a freak these days? Like you know, he's just a different type of freak. You know, yeah. So I do have something to say. Is that good? What was Rick James like? Because you seen Quincy Jones on the thumbnail. You sound like he was an ex Flame or Rick James back in the day. Did you ever oh. meet Rick? Cause you talking about super freaks and all that. Like, I don't even know what that got to do with anything. It was part of the question, wasn't it? Okay, I thought I was answering. I guess I didn't have an answer. I said, is Diddy the biggest freak in it? And I'm not trying to be mean about it, man. 
And don't think I'm just a mean guy when people call in and I'm going to do you bad and do. That's not that would take the taste out of the show, man. That would be tasteless. And y'all be thinking I'll be trying to be mean to people. That's not the case. It's the people that be calling y'all. I don't understand it. It's the people that call. Sometimes people calling this so beautiful. I just want to. I just want to hug them. But then other some nights it just be bad. It must be a full moon. Quincy Jones must be watching. Like I got a trick for you, young fella. Like, let me go get my crystal. This nigga online talking shit. Billy, let me call you back. Let me go get my crystal. Oh, uh, that Sean Blades. I gotta go get some for him because he's he's gonna he's gonna keep on. He gonna keep on keeping on. So you know you're cutting me off. They're gonna get me in the inbox. But um, yeah, wish me happy birthday. It is my 39th birthday. Yo, happy birth. That's why you call happy birthday to you, man. And enjoy your birthday, man. Eat a cake, eat a steak, man. Do all that for your birthday. Man, if that's all, why you ain't say that when you first call? Happy birthday. I could have, you could have said that in the chat. I would have read that in the chat. Happy birthday to you. And don't be no stranger. Call back, please, the next time we go live, my love. Yeah. Yeah, call back the next time. Because your conversation is too hot for my touching. You got me over here steaming. A conversation was just like, bam, it slapped me in the face, man. I'm trying to recuperate because her conversation was so excellent, man. She, Yo, I want to thank her again for her phone call because she was fine and divine, wasn't she? And I don't like talking about my callers like that because to some people that might be kind of weird, but that's just the right there. She sound like, <laughs> she sound like she look like Beyonce. She sounds just like a young, lovely Beyonce. And I need to let her know that the next time she call, it might be a wedding ring involved. I might have to get down on one knee and, um, you know, really call her back and, and see what's really good. Cause, uh, she sounds like she college educated and that's, you know, that's my type. You know, she probably looked like how Raven Simone would have looked if she would have stayed on a diet and, you know, yeah, and, and yeah, it is what it is, man. I appreciate her so much for her phone call. But that's Negro here, no there. We gotta get back into this shot, and we got some serious things to talk about before I go. The video been all over the place. We talked about the popsicles with Quincy Jones. He had Lil Nas X with the pudding pops, asking questions on the. He showed up ready like an African dancer. Like they call me Montango. Oh like, oh, that boy coming there looking like Mr. Montango with that them long legs. He's a strong, he's a strong man. He sure did. Came in here looking like Mr. Mr. Montango Bay. Oh yeah, I seen him. He was a tall the Caribbean looking young man. He sure did. Sat right there. Ate a whole pudding pop. Put it in his mouth and it was gone. I seen him do it. Oh he ate the whole pudding. Bill Cosby be on the other line. I'm like, oh boy, he did what? He came and ate the pudding pop. Like that's something a man should never do. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Damn. They could they call <laughs> they called me to snap me out of it, y'all. Let me call and get this nigga mine right. We talked about the um the little Nas X eating the putty pops. Hold on. Why he be holding his hands like that? Like it's a fat one, young man. It's a big, big fat one, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Said Tony Yo. Damn, you said that like you about to rob the store and all that. Oh my <laughs> But it's my first time calling in from the ATL. You call like you got the burner out already. Like I ain't even do nothing, bro. <laughs> what it do, man? Yeah, man. What's I, on I, your mind? I fuck with your show, though. Yo, we appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because being in the ATL is kind of hard out here in these Atlanta streets when you really ain't from Atlanta, Atlanta, dog. It's like anything you could do 
people might get offended by that. Like you trying to be funny. Like, oh, you think you funny. It ain't even like, yeah. it's like having distant relatives that you ain't never met. And when y'all meet for the first time, it's like, uh, like I gotta get used to you. Like I gotta get used to you too, shout out to my my mind up beating your motherfucking ass, dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, man. But I'm actually out here on the north side, Gwinnett County, though. Is you even from Atlanta? Uh, I, was, I was born in Gwinnett. That's what's Said up, the loop. So you a native. Damn, man. Every time I meet an Atlanta native, I be feeling like I'm talking to a Native American, man. For real? <laughs> I feel that. I be like, I be wanting to pay the utmost respect. Like, yes, I am here on your turf. I am an invader. And, yeah, you know, I'm just here to, you know... You got to respect, you know what? You really got to respect people when you come to their town, man. People come to other people's towns and don't even respect the people that's from there. That's like the ultimate disrespect. Really? Yeah, that's definitely true. It's like respect the fact that we welcomed you into our home. Like, this is our home. Like, we really a Atlanta family. Like, you don't understand it if you ain't from here like that. Like, you got to respect that Atlanta bond. People disrespect Atlanta so bad. And it's it's a beautiful place. Well, it was before everybody started coming, but it was a beautiful black. It was a beautiful place for black people, man. Shit, it's too overcrowded now. To it, cause people want to have that Atlanta experience. I remember when it. I remember when I was growing up, man. People would go down to Atlanta and come back, and they mind looked like they had been blown. They be like, people speak to you when they see you. When you walk past people's houses, people wave at you, talk to you. They they friendly, and when they come home, they be depressed for like a month because they be reminiscing on how it was in Atlanta. Then they got to get back used to the bullshit to where they from. And then they get older, be like, you know what? The hell with the shit. And move their whole family. Like, mom, I'm gone. Like, you going? Like, yup, my mama gone. You going? And next thing you know, they mama coming down in the damn, on the motorcycle with all her shit on the back. So I'm coming too. I'm running. I'm running. I'm coming to Atlanta too. Before you know it, the whole motherfucking family in Atlanta. Uncles, cousins, hey, we all made it. We all made it. Right? For real. And don't even hey, respect hey. Atlanta. See, especially now, I mean, this 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 that new Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Back the nineties, early two thousand, it was different. It was a little bit different. It was a lot different, man. The the, different. the peaches was a lot <laughs> sweeter back in the day, I tell you that. Yeah, well, more um, southern, like southern hospitality, more then, I know. And they call you sugar honey baby so many times. Shit, that, I think that's why some people wind up sweet like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because they, they can't they can be programming their minds, man, throwing their ass off. <laughs> it's like, damn, you've been raised. Look. There's some men out there that just love their mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, cornbread. It's a dude on Instagram. He got a whole restaurant. He be like, oh, I call my mama and say, mom, you feeling good? She say, I'm feeling good. I say, mom, you hungry? She said, yeah, I'm hungry. So I went up in there, bought some ham, put it in the oven. Then I got mashed potatoes. Said, mom, you like mashed potatoes? Yes, yeah, she like mashed potatoes. So I took the mashed potatoes, mixed it with the gravy, put it next to the ham, served it to mom, said, mom, you like that? Yes, yeah, she said, yeah, I like that. And look, this dude love, love they mama, man. I love my mama, but she don't live here, though. I mean, she's still in Georgia, but she like that when two hours away. Hold on, what happened with your moms? Uh, you ever heard of Tacoa, Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, I got family. That's what, that actually where I was born. So yeah, my mom moved back home like five years ago. She just up and left y'all? Uh, my aunt was uh was sick, so she took care of She became her caregiver. My aunt, she passed away, I think, 94, oh, 95. Man. Rest in peace, man. Oh, man, that's amazing. Your mother is a saint. Yeah, man, I, I can't believe she went back home after all the years, like 35 years. I, for love, man. She thing. she was on the mission for of love, man. That's a beautiful thing. Your mother is a caretaker. She a saint. Yeah, definitely. She is. Like, uh, she took care of a lot of people. She actually still doing that type of work now. 
They're 69 years old. Man, that's like a, a like a a worker for the Lord, man. She 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 grounded like that. That's that's amazing. No doubt, man. That's something to be proud of, man. You got spiritual warriors in your family, man. That's something that a lot of people overlook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So, hey, I thought you were live right now, right? Oh, um, because I'm watching your show. And I guess it was already taped earlier to some time. Hold on. You think I'm just on the phone with another man talking and I ain't live? Oh, you think I'm just yeah. some friendly dude that's willing to talk to anybody <laughs> to pick up a phone and all that. This Sean Play, let me explain something to you, man. This ain't the WWE or the UFC, man. This the real deal. And we don't do girly oh, gossiping and spilling tea. You think I'm gonna be on the phone with you spilling tea? Or what? It's all Henny, man. The reason why I'm talking to you because that Henny juice is hitting hard. It's hitting hard, man. I've been sipping. But man, people out here drinking grape juice. This is the Sean Blazerton show, man. I, like you just gonna call and I ain't talking business. We talking turkey. Turkey just like Quincy Jones talk turkey, but not in a zesty way. I ain't no cat daddy with the hat daddy. I ain't no Diddy. I don't do that dance. I don't do that bop. I don't do the pink cocaine and all that. He the cat in the hat, Pink Panther. Got young Miami allegedly out there working to get him his zesty blow. The zesty blow. They are gonna redo blow and call it pink blow and have it be a movie about Diddy. Pink blow starring Diddy. Who they gonna have play on um, young Miami? They gonna have Kiki Palmer with a wig on acting real stupid. They gonna get on uh, who they gonna get to play Diddy. They might get Meek Mill to play Diddy and all that. That would be disgusting. Meek Mill playing a character that's having sex with himself allegedly in the movie, man. That would be weird. They do it man. for the views. They do it for the me. It's all about media, baby. This is big bullshit that they put in a box and sell it to people and people eat it up like chicken McNuggets or whatever. Either way, Diddy's still getting paid. And the people talking shit about him, they ain't getting a damn thing. He out here living like a king. Why you think he show up to the damn event looking like he's Prince Charming? Look at his look at his suit. Like I am your heir, your highness. I am Diddy. He is this motherfucker flexing? Y'all think he gonna fall? He ain't gonna fall. It's a show. It's entertainment. It's bigger than love and hip hop. I'm talking about billions of dollars. What y'all man? Come on, y'all could believe the hype. He on some kingdom shit. Look at his look at his jacket. He look like a Tekken character. Like I am your highness. Like he could fucking mm -hmm. drop kick your ass and throw a fireball. That shit costs like almost a million dollars. Like I am Diddy. I will not fall. You think I'll fall? I won't fall. I come back like too far. She's looking like hell, Diddy. Hell, Diddy. I am your highness. You must bless me. You'll see. It looks bad now. Then I'll be your god. I'll be. A, I'll rule you. For cyber technology, you will worship me. I'm Diddy. 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 He gonna be bigger than PewDiePie. Oh Come well, on, man. What y'all talk about, man? Come on. <laughs> they they got they got money. Come on. They got too much money. It's a game. You play play with the public, because people are willing to believe any damn thing. And people going, it's news. Ain't shit going on. Since the pandemic, they look, bro. During the pandemic, they panic. I panic. I'm like, ain't shit going on. Like, what is it to talk about? Like, you do on um, news media, and you do shit for entertainment. If it ain't nothing entertainment, I take some shit and flip it and make it entertaining. Like I did a video earlier, they hating on the SAT channel. I get depressed when I even wanna talk about it, man, but you gotta make shit entertaining. So if Diddy is providing entertainment for people in the entertainment industry, it's like, Diddy, we hope you fall and crack your face. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make a video about Diddy crawling and falling and cracking his face, man. And it'll probably, it'll probably do some numbers. That's where we at with it, man. Like. It's news. Look at this shit. Diddy on. Um, look at that. Put the SAT. This, this channel needs some love, man. Change the music. This channel. The Mighty has. I need to. It will rise, man. Look at this. I streamed that a day ago. 10K. That's cool. And I'm grateful, man. Maybe this shit too zesty. Look, look at the thumbnail. 
Ain't no zesty man gonna click on that. Now he is not Tosh K. He need to stop. Oh my goodness. Hey, he try to think he impressive or somebody. What is that? He need to slow. They hate on the video. I have to admit, I have to admit, Puff Daddy before. Uh oh. <clears throat> Not like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. It was actually the 2015 uh -oh. BET Hip Hop Award. I actually was working doing stage hand work. So, uh, you was a stage hand and you met Diddy? Being, yeah, backstage. You know what I'm saying? The whole bad boy. seen Lil' Kim. Okay. I got pictures every time. But uh, the man has a bad aura about him. From a distance, I felt that like, he's very demonic. You know what I'm saying? Like He has that type of spirit. It's not good. So anything, everything they said about this man, I could really believe it. You felt like Brother Love ain't have an aura of love with him? Nah, he don't have no good, no uh, good uh, person about himself or whatever I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't see no good spirits coming from that man. You saying that Brother <laughs> Love is really a creepster? Yeah, yeah, that nigga is very weird and creepy. So when you around him, you feel like you around Madonna or like Grace Jones or somebody. He really that freaky? <laughs> nah, you know, I got a think of a person, but uh, I can't really say, though. He got he an air about me. him, a presence like he's no good. He's a dirty, dirty man. Yeah, that, that man, that man would be quick to trying to uh, spike somebody for uh, a drink. Who like drink this homeboy. Woman. He just a college <laughs> frat kid. <laughs> gone mad he's still he out here living like he in the dorm room like i'm the bully around here drink this asshole yo ass drink <laughs> you drink the drink <laughs> you're gonna pass out dreaming about mushrooms and shit and he doing whatever he want to do with you man is it really that bad yeah hope not <laughs> Damn. only god knows did he get low like that like he'll pop some shit and your drink, like, yeah, let's get lean, babes. Yeah. He'll take you all the way downtown. Like, it's weird. It's a crazy life. I know it. Yeah. Oh, come what on. Why I would they know? put that on Diddy like that? He can't be that much of a slime ball. He is a New Yorker, you know. He might just be that fucking slimy. There's a lot of rats in New York, too. He might just be a. A Sin City grease ball, you know, like he just might be. I hope that wasn't offensive yeah, to nobody. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. New York City is filled with a whole bunch of characters. They make movies about New York City, like how grimy can grimy get, you know? Like let's make a cartoon, call it Sin City, and you know, just you know, it's mad shit going on out here, you know. It's, it's New York City. Like, it's all different types of villains. Did you hear about the goofer? Oh, yeah, he's that dude. He's fucking crazy. He does this. He does that. What's your story? Who's your, what's your gimmick? Like, are you cool or you're a bitch or what, what, what's your thing? I ain't no bitch. I'm from New York, nigga. What you talk, nigga? I'll put out the, what, 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 nigga? Represent my block, nigga. What, no, 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 Hold on, how you gonna play me like I'm a mental patient and all that? You said it nah, like you was a feel like I offended you <laughs> or something. Like you wanted to let me know that I made you feel uncomfortable. Like Sean, I will never be calling you back again. And with that being said, with your weird, crazy ass, I don't yeah. like it. I won't like it. I never like it. You stood on your Georgia rights when you said that. Like you wanted the A to hear how you said it. Like you wanted to like stand up, stand up. We heard that. We heard that. You tried to get your little rain, your little praise and all that. I ain't gonna let it happen, man. This is still the Sean Blazer to show. And we appreciate your phone call. You the one that get dismissed. You must have forgot. This is what I do. And I want to thank you so much for your phone call. And we ain't playing no games, man. And we gonna holla at you on the next one, man. What's wrong with him? Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, this is Angela. Angela is on the phone. How you doing, sister? 
I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? Man, I'm over here having this conversation, waiting for you to cut whatever that is off in the back. Oh man, it don't I'm ruin the, it don't ruin the whole. I knew you was gonna get me. Thing, I well, well, if you knew, well, why you just, you if you knew, <laughs> if you already knew, did you do that on purpose? Like, wh why y'all playing games? <laughs> Get I'm it, man. So sorry. Definitely, I was trying to move really, really quick. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. You on the phone now? What you got to say? I just feel like P Diddy is definitely not the biggest freak. You know, he had to be trained. <laughs> he had to be trained to be freaky like that. Yes, he had to graduate from the from the Quincy Jones Academy of Freakology. Quincy Jones Academy of Freakology. Mm-hmm. How freaky do freaky get? Hey, you tell me. <laughs> See, you sound real freaky. Don't try to put the freak on me. You the one that started talking about it. You the one with the, the freak on. Here. You got the freak I'm on your tongue, the question. The question is, okay. is Diddy the biggest freak in the game? Like, do you think he worse than what they say about R. Kelly? Michael Jackson, they say some some crazy stuff about a lot of celebrities, man. Do you think he's the right. worst of them all? No, I really don't think he's the worst. It has to be somebody higher than him. You know, look at the investigation and all of the things that are coming out. There's too many of them out there. They'll never get to the highest one because he has the most money. The elites are running it. He's just a little lamb sacrifice. He's got to be sacrificed little lamb sacrifice that gotta be sacrificed mm -hmm. man they said the same thing about oj simpson last mm -hmm. time i checked oj chilling he's he's somewhere he ain't in jail yeah. he yeah. eating he got his bills paid he ain't struggling mm. but hey he may still be connected you know sometimes you probably gotta take you. the plunge for the media yeah, he got to take the plunge for the media in order to be a distraction for the rest of the elite to continue. To do whatever they doing. One thing I know, mm -hmm. my pocket's hurting and they out here, everything's so damn high, man. I'm like, yo, $10 for a smoothie? And it ain't even all that good. It's good enough to well, pay $10, day. though, especially if that's the price and you hungry and you ain't trying to eat none of this other bullshit that's out here. It's a bunch of bullshit out here. Like, what do people eat? Wings all the time? Like you got two <laughs> choices. You gonna eat some wings or some nuggets. Which one? Or a cheeseburger. Which one you picking? Chicken. <laughs> you gonna take the chicken every time. Even if it's a thigh, it could be a drum, it could be a a, a chicken finger, a nugget. You just gonna take the chicken. Everything on the chicken is chicken steel, including the chicken meal. They'll cheap eat the chicken foot. They don't care. <laughs> it's like you live in it's like you live in a whole bunch of school cafeterias, man. Are you like, no, which school cafeteria? So you got home cooked meals? Absolutely. Y'all be lying. Excuse me. Well, that's what your mouth said. Now I'm, I'm 58 years old. I'm that's sorry. what your mouth said. That's no disrespect, <laughs> ma'am. I didn't know. Hold on. How you going to be 58 calling into this show and all that? Because I love listening to you. You have me crying in tears. I stayed up to 2 or 3 o'clock last night listening to you. You did. <laughs> You and I tried so hard to call me. Oh. And couldn't get through. You you was listening to Doc's Daily? Yes. Doc's Daily absolutely was. To two or three o'clock in the morning. Oh, I said, God, I got to go to bed. Are you 58 years old? Yes, but you I'm young. not a normal 58 baby. Don't get it twisted. And you know, people get offended when you talk about their age, but your youthfulness, I'm like, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love my age, honey. I live these years, please believe, and I'm thankful for every last one of them. <laughs> so, is it like, um, is it like a golden experience for you? Nah, I don't feel like it's golden yet. It won't be golden until I turn 60, I feel. So, you ain't even got to the gold yet? No, not yet. <laughs> when you get there, you gonna celebrate every day of your life? You best believe it. <laughs> 
gonna be on the other side of the mountaintop like i made it motherfuckers like every day like yup yup look at me i ain't all that pretty but i'm still kicking motherfucking like and i could buy whatever the fuck i want so you, you know, know black you know black don't crack and i'm yeah. 58 years old red bone with freckles <laughs> hold on no no she ain't say that now you can see god why <laughs> something happening man and i ain't trying to oh, come on you you my elder and all that but that is a beautiful sight to behold you over there looking like Chardé in the face man well i'm not quite sure they oh, 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 damn, <laughs> i don't bad. have that forehead more my like, forehead um, is not that big <laughs> more like tiny ti wife no i have lips she had to buy some. Mine was already made. <laughs> oh, okay. Either way, man, you know, as a woman, you ain't gotta express or discuss your features and things. Well, you I are... could I could tell you I could tell you who everybody um thought that I kinda favor was Stacy Lattisaw. That's more Hold you on, closer. Pause the game. There you go. Oh, mm -hmm. Hold on, Stacy Lattisaw. Let's do mm -hmm. this real quick. Lattisaw. And I know y'all weirded out out there, but I don't give a damn. This song, I Found Love on Hold a Two-Way on. Street. She come out with Tevin Campbell. Stacy Lattisaw, huh? Mm-hmm. The Lizzo of the... the, the yeah, she was more like a one-hit wonder. She come out with I Found Love on a Two-Way Street, but I lost the, it on a Lonely Highway. She was the on um, the Lizzo of the 90s. Yes. She hey, she got the more and more I look at these pictures, she don't look bad at all. You know what I'm saying? She's a beautiful lady. Yeah. I don't think I favor her, but that's who I, I was compared to she back got in dimples, the day. Dimples and hazel eyes with an Ellen haircut and all that. Yeah. She still wear them Ellen cuts? I doubt it. <laughs> she had a big Queen Latifah bow, like Oprah Winfrey back in the day with some some ocean um earrings on she she come out of the business as well because she was young when she started and she couldn't handle it you know she went religious as well who, who put her on like who was her manager she come who? out with quincy and them and everything i'm not absolutely oh, sure who put her on quincy but jones put her out i'm not sure if he put her out but i knew he oh, tried to combine her and Kevin campbell at one point in time hold on quincy jones he all he over everything Yes, that's the reason why I said P. Diddy is not the biggest. The elites, you know, Quincy Jones still is somebody above him. Somebody trained them up. Damn. She was Mike. They had her with Michael Jackson, Stacey Lattisaw. Mm -hmm. She was doing numbers. Well, she was singing and doing really well, but and she come out in an interview once saying that, you know, the, the type of songs that they wanted to sing just didn't fit her age range and she didn't feel comfortable doing them. And so she come out. They had you know, her being grown. All together. They had her being too grown at a young age, even way back right. then. Like, mm -hmm. mama, it's really not that bad. Like, you're 16, <laughs> Stacey, you can't sing that song. Like, mama, they're my friends. Like, what y'all doing with my baby? Like, yeah. Don't worry, Miss James. We having a good time with Stacey Lattimore. Mm -hmm. I hope that's not the story, because if it is, that's sad, man. I used to do her song in the talent shows when I was in high school, so, you know, it was... It was rough. <laughs> and that's the reason why they would compare me to her, because I sing, too, but gospel now. I used to do a lot of R&B. Oh, man, so that was your claim to fame, the Stacey Lattimore thing, and you got me talking about it. Not ladder more, ladder saw. Oh, look, I better get it right because that's your representative and all that. <laughs> Not really. I'm my own rep. Like, she is my family by cheekbones. That's my sister. <laughs> it's in the bones. We're united. Everyone with these bones are sisters, and I have them. She have them. That, yes, I'm from her tribe. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> That, that's how you live in your life out here, sister. I don't know if it's right, though. Be worshiping these celebrities and all that. Nah, definitely don't worship anybody but God. Yo, <laughs> some dude in the grocery store, he was like, you know what? Have anybody ever told you that you look like Jamal Crawford? And I'm like, <laughs> brother, how, how long you been looking at me, nigga? I ain't been looking at you. I don't know who you look. I had to look in his face like, nigga, I don't know who you look like. Because I, I, I never looked at you like that. 
<laughs> you a blur to me. Like you, how you all in my features and deciphering who I look like? You see a man, he be like, hmm, he look like a little scrappy. You you got a rank book in your head on how people look. That's what they, I used to visit your city, New York, all the times in the summers. I used to come every summer to Lexington Avenue in Brooklyn. Building eighty four. Eighty four. Building eight. What was going on in Building eighty four? That's where my stepdad lived. We, you know, him and my well, my mom's ex husband, my stepdad. He lived there, and we would go there for the summers. Your mother's step. You act no, like you my was going. Stepdad, my mom's ex husband. You would go see your mother's ex husband. No, she was sitting us there every summer. She had kids by him too, so whenever they went, we went as well. Oh, and when y'all got there, y'all was with him and his family. Right. She sent y'all to that man's house. She sent y'all, and that was y'all stepfather. Yeah, but we have three brothers. That That's he's his the blood. Of. Uh huh. Right. How many of y'all was it? Eleven. And he, she sent all y'all. No. <laughs> oh, I was about if to. You faint. have eleven kids. Eleven kids. You know, some of them are already grown and gone. So. No. How many? Um, how many your mother sent up there? Only four. Her, his three sons and um, myself. And they wanted you to come because you was the light skinned one. Like, look, they can't come if she can't come because we want them to come because so she can come so we could tell everybody they, she our family, man. They were light skinned too. <laughs> like, we want to show New York how pretty we is. Like, every all the pretty ones, man. That ain't my daughter, but she pretty, <laughs> bro. Let y'all pretty ass to come too, y'all. We rapping for the light skins. They wouldn't let me go nowhere without a. Uh, all three of them had to be with me everywhere I went because they felt like I was green because I was from Alabama and didn't have any knowledge of, you know, how people were in New York. <laughs> Hold on. You went to New York from Alabama? Yes, I'm from oh, Alabama. Oh, them boys was all over you that summer. Oh, God. <laughs> them, dude, them guys was taking, they was trying to shoot, they shot the whole day. They didn't summer. get a chance. They didn't get a chance. My brothers was evil. They wouldn't even give them the chance. <laughs> oh, so your brothers had it locked down in New York, even though they from Alabama? No, they're not from Alabama. They was, them. my mother... We hold lived in hold on, Ma. I love Black History Month and all that, but we talking about Diddy. They talking yeah, about he the yeah. arch nemesis, man. They say yeah, he out to here. Go into that Diddy, beef. Diddy doing a whole bunch of stuff, dudes, man. Your name Diddy is your last name style. Diddy. Is your how long we been on the phone? Your last name Diddy. Oh ho, we been on the phone for twelve minutes, my sister. Well, come on and you know what? I got so much here. love come for you, man. Your phone call is everything. We talking about the diddle and all that. You about to go into history and all. I can't believe you let me talk that long about nothing except we ain't even say nothing about Diddy. That is a shame. I, why would you do that to my show? Why would you call in and do? something like that you are what you're acting like a wicked witch that was wrong you can't do people like that you put those spell you call are you an erica badu fan did erica badu tell you to call it yeah i think that's what happened we got so much love for you sister you can't be no stranger make sure you Come call on, back and tell, and tell erica badu i said hello man we gonna holler at you later so much love we gonna holler at you soon man they working for they study baduism they working for Mrs. Badu. That's what I feel. DJ academics know what I'm talking about. Them sisters call in. They all mystical and shit. Got them incense burning in the back. Like this brother wants to play games. Okay. Like I get on the phone. Lip gloss be popping. I know. Look, I know what time it is with y'all sisters out there. Like I'm going to play a game with him tonight. So I took a shower listening to the show and all that. Like, it is my time and I channel my home just to hate on my damn show, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo. 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 Get it together. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, what's good? This is Mount VAQ. What's good with you, Sean? Eh. The phone calls is coming. Diddy is running. 
It's been a full yo. moon these past couple of nights, man. I know Diddy out there bugging like, yo, this can't be my life. His kids don't lost faith in him. Like, dad, what the fuck is going on? Like, they ain't never seen their dad take a L like this. Like, oh shit, I'm ashamed to say that Diddy, my dad, they show up to the party. People sitting across, they don't even want to sit next to them no more. Like, you guys thirsty? You want anything to eat? People trying to distance <laughs> themselves. They social life fucked up. They mom gone. Like, this shit, it's like a vortex. Like, wow. The the fall Yo. of Rome. Like, the kingdom is really falling. King Combs, he trying to take the throne, but Diddy won't leave. Yeah. I got the origin for you, though. I've been watching your doc daily, bro. And I'm from the same hometown as Diddy, Mount Vernon, New York. And I did my studies on the dude since back in the day. And the origin of this sexual assault stuff comes from, he went to Mount Vernon High School first. That's where he met Nisa at, his first baby mother. But then he transferred to an all-boys school academy named Mount St. Michael in the Bronx. And you know about them Catholic priests touching them boys. When you go to an all boys school, problem, especially them Catholic schools. And I was just looking up Mount St. Michael. They got problems with people touching the boys at that school. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, based off of the history of Diddy, I think it started at that all boys school, so I promise you. And when I used to pass that school as a kid, I always used to be like, man, I never want to go to that school. That's all boys. Ain't no girls in there, man. So you got to look up that history, Blazy. Because I promise you, it's the origin of this. Like, Playboy, you that's where you old, messed I ain't up, try, bro. I ain't trying to... I ain't that's try, where you look, messed up, bro. I ain't trying to shit on everybody check yourself, that check yourself. Take that, take that. You need to check yourself. <laughs> you don't understand why people send their black kids to Catholic schools. Reason why people send their black kids to Catholic schools because up in them schools they be dropping jewels on your kids and your kids go home and think about that shit. They be catching them jewels as long as they there. They gonna catch all the jewels. I caught a whole lot of jewels going to Catholic schools, boy. I know what time it is out here. I'm Diddy. You don't understand, nigga. I'm the real Harry Potter out of this bitch, nigga. I know what the fuck going on. Y'all niggas don't know what's going on. Y'all on the block ain't getting no money. Y'all don't know how to move out here in these streets, nigga. I show up to the, I show up to the award show with Jennifer Lopez on my arm. They calling me King Jafar, man. People move out the way. I got big bad bodyguards, man. I'm a rock and roller, a hip hop. Yo, this what but I do another for real. thing you need to check in too. Like he wasn't the first big star from Mount Vernon. Heavy B was. And then Heavy D died unknowingly when he was like 40-something in California out of nowhere. I feel like mm. Heavy D is the one who introduced him to Andre. They need to make his seal. They now. need to make his seal. You know they need to make Diddy seal. He's a he, <laughs> Y'all treat him like he's a god. He's Julius Caesar. Hell Diddy, hell Diddy. He's the highest of the highest. His height, he's at the height. He's going to take the fall. Rome is falling. Caesar is I'm getting weak. His son, his son, he King Combs. King Combs. Oh, King Combs is about to seize the throne. He's going to look at that to as a it. move. Like if a dude, if a dude starts at Uptown and he go to Andre Harrell, he, he went to Andre Harrell. He said, "Look, he's going to I'm seize the throne for free." It's going to seize he worked it. For Andre Harrell for free. Oh, oh King Combs, get Harrell ready for Papo. Get yeah. ready for Papo King Combs. He's a so seized. Know. He's going to seize the Diddy. Y'all look at the game, the man. Overseas him, father. I'm not sitting on Diddy. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. I'm not sitting on Diddy. Overseas him, father. His background is shady, man. Oh, he's all Diddy. This, hell, all Diddy. This, all this King Diddy. Weird. But his yo. story is glorious. His glory is he's Mr. <laughs> Mustavo. They, they call him. In Brazil, they call him Mr. Mustavo. He's unstoppable, invincible. Soracta is good. The shit legendary when Diddy, once the King Diddy held Soracta's flavor was so sweet, it still sells to this day. Hell Diddy. He's the king. Yo, He's King Jafar. Right his his son is the new King Jafar. It's, it's <laughs> his legacy. He's born to born to rule. He's Diddy. What's the hell them? Give him your money. No, take your money. Give him your money. He's king. He's take the that. King Julius Caesar. Take that, take yeah. that, take that. King Kong. Yo, I'm out, yo. I just wanted to drop some jewels on you right Thank quick. Thank you so you much, bro. Just to let you know no the doubt. origin of Bro, yeah, we appreciate so, that, man. It really ain't that deep. Work, and, yo, thank you so much, man. I, I, agree, I appreciate it, man. I got love for you, I'll man. Word up. We're going to holler at you soon, man.
it's like, man, that dude got problems, man. I call, I don't think I'm gonna rock with that nigga no more, man. That Sean Blazerton dude, he got problems. I tried to be cool, but that nigga not cool. He treated me like I'm Diddy. Like, Diddy, I, I see you about to do a line of pink cocaine. So, you know, I'm the, Diddy, I'm just going to back away from the table. Have a nice night. And uh, see you later, dude. Like, why? You don't want none of this shit? This shit good. Like, you don't want no pink cocaine? Come in. Like, come over here. Take, yo, bring your ass over here and quit playing, man. Young Miami looking like he ain't gonna come. Like, you don't hear me talking to you? Like, bring your ass over here, man. King Diddy, you must have forgot. She like, hell, Diddy. Oh my like, I'm King Jafar. Look at me. I'm shining. I got the glow. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo. Y'all need to get it together when y'all call up here, man. Y'all messing up this shit. This shit like Tekken 8, man. It's Tekken 8. She like, they came like Tekken characters, yo. That shit was crazy. Like, hell, Diddy. Like, I am him. I am the one. <laughs> like, you see me, you greet me. Come here, I am Diddy. They call me King Jafar. He came in there stunting with you. Oh my God, I can't. Ah! He came in there stunting with young Miami looking like Tekken characters, yo. Hold on. That was crazy. I don't need to see this, man. They came in there wearing some shit that a designer would have to make. Like, what is this? They all buff looking. They they come in there looking. They come in there looking like a Kuma. Like, why was he so buff? She was. He looked like he got muscle. Shit looked stupid. He couldn't even breathe in the damn suit. He had the big old um, Kazuya jacket on. Like, I am him. You face me. You must die. You must die tonight. You face me. You die. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Uh, Kitty. Kitty? The dude that be with the white house? What? You said your name, Kitty. No, I said Sudi. You said you said, you said your name, well, Witty. Call me Sudi. Sudi. Yes. Sudi. City Sudi. Okay. Um. Yeah. What, what you got to say? Yeah. Well, I I have to say is that Oprah. I think in the end, Oprah is a part of this too. I think her name is going to come out when they start spilling the beans. Just want to throw her in the fire too, huh? Yeah, that's all I have to say. Burn them all, the burn them all. Burn. Y'all see right. the bonfire, y'all like throw all of them in there. Like, yeah, that's all right. of them. Like Get zombies, them. like zombies, man. That's cold. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Damn, that's messed up. Where's the black love, man? We That ain't right, sister. We family. Well, I think Oprah's a part of it, too. So She's Oprah gonna be in there, too. Oprah done yeah. a lot of great things. Oprah Winfrey is a good... Why is Oprah a, a villain now? How did Oprah become a super villain? Well, the girls in Africa, and, and I just I just never trusted her. It's like when she said, give everybody a car, they didn't really get a car. They had to pay taxes on the car. They had to pay other money on the car. They was too broke to afford a damn car. That's their problem. That ain't her problem. (laughs) If you too broke to afford a car, what that got to do with Oprah? You want her to pay your shit for life and buy you a mansion? (laughs) Be grateful for the damn car. If you could afford the car, you would be happy. But your ass too broke to pay for the damn insurance. How was that my problem? Sell the car. You got the title, make some money off the Stop crying about the car. That's probably what most of them had to do. But I just feel that Oprah's going to be a part of this too in the end. No, no, no. But she has so much money, she can buy her way out of it. Y'all be praying on people's downfall. You praying on it. You praying on it. I'm praying that she Why you praying on her downfall? Why? I pray that she isn't a part of it, but I believe she is going to be a part of it. It's why would you think she I had. Gonna, so you got a feeling in your it's soul like Oprah I gonna, had. why would you have a feeling like that for a successful woman I don't know. I damn don't that's know, what you call hate you conjuring hate no, for a woman hate. you don't even know I don't hate anyone I don't hate her 
No, I don't hate anyone. Like, I have a feeling that Oprah will take her fall as well. Lord, make it happen for me. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not going to say that. Oprah is going to fall, everybody. Yeah. (laughs) Ain't nobody say nothing about Oprah this whole. You brought Oprah into it. Oprah, I want to let you know that I love you regardless of what they got to say about you. The first black woman to be syndicated with your television show. You are in black history. I'm proud of Oprah. I'm proud of Oprah, too. I've been proud of Oprah. Proud of Oprah, too. And she still look. And but Oprah still look good, especially now, for her still, age. She still look she good. Does. And she, she look, she get better with time. I think Oprah Winfrey get better with time. She one of those, you know. Okay. People say she started off rough, but it seemed like the older she get, Oprah Winfrey, she keeping it together. I, hell, Oprah. Hell, Oprah. Hell, oh, people don't want to hear that in them streets. People would lose their fucking mind. Like, what they say? Hell, oh, I mean, but um, people will go in on Oprah. They don't want her to have a campaign. Look, man, she she represent in a classy way. She's a classy. When the last time you seen a classy representative? When the last time you seen a classy representative? Tell me. You're right. You're right. When? When the one time? When the last time you seen a classy one? It's been a long time. A I very can't long time. A very I long time. Classy. And she's still classy, holding it down for the sisters, making y'all okay. look very look, how making y'all pay, making how much y'all. Are you getting paid for this? Shit, how much I'm getting? I ain't getting paid a dime. It ain't about no money. <laughs> Oprah getting paid though. And she going you getting Let paid? Me get off this phone. Let me get off this phone. You can't pay. Why you hating on? You hating on Oprah? You a hater? Hating on Oprah? <laughs> What, talk about no, her downfall. Me, no. Why? Look, y'all, y'all, y'all worship these celebrities. So when you talk about them, you got to talk about them like they already in they seal. So she's a golden. She her don't pass well, her well, golden look, years. Let, let me change the subject. T Diddy, he deserves everything he gets. He deserves everything he gets because because he's nasty. And I don't know how you feel about Quincy Jones, but. I think Quincy Jones is a part of it too. Yeah. And I shouldn't of... say that Oprah's a part of it. I think she participated in some of these parties. A That's part what of I what though? Say. Like how? Some of the parties. She was probably there at some of the parties when some of this was going on. Some of these things were going on. I'm not saying she stayed, but I'm sure she was invited. You worried about who's sitting at the head of the table. That's what this is really about. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's all I have to say. Okay. Yeah. You know, people got these conspiracy theories going crazy, man. And we wanna thank you so much. You over there smoking and all that. We we thank you so much no, for your call. Have, oh, Be careful, have, sister. We're gonna holler at you later, man. What was I saying, man? Where the where them young girl I you know it's the music, Reg. We got to work on the music because when I play some shit like this, this will make somebody grandmama wake up out her sleep and get her a cup of coffee. She hear that shit. She going to think it's morning time. Like, oh, let me get up and start cleaning up. Find something on YouTube. Next thing you know, Nana on the phone with a do-rag on. This music will attract the old man walking down the street. I had the wind blowing kind of funny today. I think I'm going to turn on the heat and, you know, see what's up with my man, Blaze. This music is for the common worker. Oh, my goodness. Like, yup, I had a rough day. It's cold in New York, but, you know, shit, at least my fingers are warm. I think I'm going to call call up Sean, see what he talking, you know, you know, get a cheeseburger or something, see what's going on with the nigga. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's up? What's up? Aloha. Aloha. He calling. He calling all the way from Hawaii. I told y'all this is what I do. This is Sean Blazerton show. Yeah, I've been following you for a while, man. I like your show. I appreciate it, man, because we can't get it from the mainstream. Yeah, all the way from Hawaii. You got to sit by the ocean just to catch the wave, man. He waiting. He caught the wave. Now he's surfing with your boy, man. What's up? What's on your <laughs> mind, bro? Yeah, I'm on. I'm on Oahu. You know, out of all of this stuff, man, uh, with the, with the, with the music industry and the movie industry, it's not just just the black folks that's this nasty. Because we had to learn that uh, behavior from somebody, you know, or, or Pacific people. You know what I mean? My thing is, 
they hanging this man, this man Diddy out the dry, man. And you got all these other people in the music industry that have done way worse, but you don't see them all over the news. And and you know, I'm talking about Facebook is just taken over by Diddy. <laughs> it's just Diddy every damn post, man. I'm kind of sick of it because nobody else is getting 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 blasted like all, all these other, you know, uh, people other than the black folk. You know, I, I you know I don't want to, you know, do that. But you you, you see what I'm saying? see exactly what you're saying bro but you know yeah. it's black people look we the main consumers of our own demise man that's the that's the reason why they will put him up there if we wasn't that type and, of people it would they would choose another type of people first to exploit and you know i think i think i'm gonna go ahead and say it. I, don't, I don't think like if you go to a, like a white folk party let's say if you go to a journey party we know journey boy that boy them all, all those famous rock stars and all that. They, they've done way. I don't think they as flamboyant as black people. When, when we get rich, man, we just fucking just out of control. So I, I think maybe that's why, because we, 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 we not low key enough with, with, with our stuff. We, you know, we let everybody see what we doing. And yeah, I, yeah, I, I just think it's crazy, man. But yeah, I appreciate you taking my call. I ain't expect for <laughs> Oh, man, that's talking real. To my homie man. that I be listening to on. But man, I appreciate what you're doing, man. I, I just. I just think it's fucked up what they doing. Did yeah, whether he may, whether he guilty or not, they just blast our shit. But then you don't see them blasting white folks shit on, on the TV and, and, and just sending all these goddamn send a whole damn army patrol. <laughs> it ain't Crazy, about, bro. Man. I'm trying to tell you, ain't even about that, man. It's not about that. It ain't about. Mm -hmm. It really ain't about black or white. When you really think about it, it's about that flamboyant lifestyle. Yeah, that need to be it is exploited. What it is, right? If you want to be Mr. Playboy and you live in you a dirt, you live in foul, then maybe you need to be exposed for being foul, man. Because people shouldn't be yep. out here foul. That, that, that's like just the that. bottom line, man. When you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Look, it's people, it's other people out there living foul, but they ain't put themselves out there with an icy chain. They ain't put themselves out there with a belly. The they ain't put themselves out there with a, a, a whole bunch of beautiful <laughs> women. They ain't exposed themselves like that. It's his persona. Yeah, you know, we don't get it worse. We black it's people the don't get it the worst. It ain't we about being origin. black. It's the persona. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying. I, I think we gonna get the worst because we God's chosen people. We the original people now, of the hey, planet Earth. Not with these personas, All colors bro. Come not, from black. I hear what you're saying, but not with these personas that people be making up and living by. Yeah, if you want to be famous, then you're going to take what come with it. <laughs> hey, it's as simple as that. Yep, yep. It's crazy, man. But I ain't going to hold you up, man. But I appreciate you taking my call, man. No I'm going to continue man. watching. I got to go to work tonight. No I'm talk. supposed to be sleeping. I'm up watching this shit about Diddy. <laughs> no doubt, man. Yo, and I appreciate that, bro. And don't be no stranger neither. Make sure you call back the next time we go live, bro. We're going to holler at you yeah. soon, no doubt. Yo, I appreciate the love and support, man. Yo. man if you call in talking about race i'm gonna arm wrestle with you i'm not gonna do it because y'all want to be pro black soldiers on the phone with me and then go to work and be acting you be the friendliest black guy in the world for a paycheck i want to call in here talking like malcolm x but when your ass pull up to the drive through i want a whopper with cheese People know how to act, act right when it's time to act right. Want to call up here. Look, I understand you expressing your feelings, but if y'all want me to get ugly with it, man, damn, I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Oh my goodness. Yo, what y'all thinking? What y'all think I'm gonna talk about? The West Coast won. The West Coast won. East versus West. The West Coast got some key players. I'm talking about Eminem, Larry Bird, Dirk Nowinski. When it come to hip hop, he Larry Bird. Dirk Nowinski. He Luka Donick. He, uh, he all of the key players, man. They got a Hall of Fame. They the Lakers. They the Lakers. They crazy with it. He all the dope white boy basketball players put into a rapper. 
Tell me he not. Who hotter when it come to rap? Who sold more records? Stop playing. Cut it out. He the GOAT when it comes to the look, the West Coast, the team, the team. Don't talk about the team. Don't talk about the team. I ain't even got started on 50 Cent yet. I could, yo, I ain't even start talking about Dr. Dre. I ain't start talking about Snoop, who owned Death Row. Snoop owned Death Row. Don't do it. Don't, we ain't about to have that conversation. They the Lakers. Y'all need to wake up. Who got a better team? The West Coast won. The West Coast won. The West won, man. Look at this, man. 50 Cent. He making movies. He do. He got stars. He's he was selling vitamin water, and it was nasty. And made like a a billion dollars off some vitamin water. That was disgusting. Hey, I ain't like it, y'all. A lot of people in the hood was drinking it because they thought it was some scissor or something. Like it's supposed to be nasty. Now you ain't no real one if you can't handle the flavor. Drink that shit every day, cause I'm a G or G unit. <laughs> People was drinking the juice. He had the video game, the chains. He, man, come on, man. He like LeBron James. He LeBron James drafted from Cleveland to play for the Lakers. That's basically who he is. He the LBJ. People don't want to give him his props. He got like two rings and don't been to like the finals. I don't know how many times, man been to the finals 10 times and got four rings he ain't no michael jordan but y'all don't want to talk about michael jordan man because y'all don't know who michael jordan is man look at this look at this man this michael jordan when it come to hip-hop hey the west got a hell of a team but they ain't got jordan on the team though Come on, man. This is Jordan. Got a mean jump shot. Got plenty of rings. Plenty of brilliant. How many rings? He All he do is get rings. He ain't never took an L. All his albums plat quadruple platinum, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, man. It's on New York. What's How you doing? No doubt, bro. What's on your mind tonight? Wow, some crazy stuff coming down the road. Some crazy stuff like what, man? Diddy, you talking about Diddy, ain't you? What you got to say about Diddy? Well, I just started hearing you talk to this last dude about how it affected him and... You from... Where are you from and all that? New York. You you from New York, bro? Upstate. Upstate? What, what, part, what part upstate? Up by the border. By the board, by the Canada border. Yeah, man, deep upstate. What is called? What's the what's your city called? <coughs> Potsdam. Potsdam. Pot. P O T. Potsdam. Potsdam. Like y'all got mad pots in your city. You right go, on. Like damn, all we got for sale is pots. I'm like God damn, it's a lot of pots in this city. Pots, hold on, Pots damn New York life. Damn, yo, it's really a Pots damn. Like we got Pots, like damn, another pot, drop it in the pot. Hold up, they better not be doing nothing illegal up there. Oh, it's illegal in New York. Damn, y'all live in the middle. I mean, I like that. I bet you if you speed through Pots damn, you gonna get a ticket. You speed through Potsdam, you're gonna miss it. <laughs> Hold on, you saying Potsdam really that small? Yeah. Do they got good food up there in Potsdam? Uh, pizza restaurant. Is the pizza off the chain? Nah. Uh, Hold it, on, it, it, they got it, a bunch of pizza restaurants and the pizza ain't even hitting? 
Uh, yeah, you, you got a couple good shops. Oh man, the pizza ain't right. Like, eh, hey, pizza sucks, man. It's in town though. It tastes like shit. Like, what they putting in the pizza? Why it tastes like? Why y'all don't like the way it tastes? Is it a pizza scam going on? The paparazzi, no, the pizza scam, Pizza Gate up in Potsdam. What the hell going on with the pizza, bro? Oh, Pizza Gate, don't get going there. <laughs> Oh, man, we sipping straight up Hennessy. You call up here with a wine cooler and all that, and we and we appreciate your cooler. phone call, man. Don't be no stranger. Call back next time from Potsdam, New York. Potsdam, yo. I hope they don't get mad and make a blog or something about this. Shout out to Potsdam. I just need to go here, no there, man. What the hell was that? How did that even get up there? Shit looking real stupid right now. Dredd, you about to get fired. The fuck going on around here tonight, man? Shit, I only make $2 and all that, man. Y'all need to get this shit together, yo. Ladies, you tripping? Oh, man, how long we been live? Y'all let me talk for two hours and I ain't get no snack. Yo, y'all tripping it. Not, yo, man, I'm going to have to fire my whole staff and all the big booty girls in here listening. Just because y'all don't say nothing don't mean that y'all ain't sitting right there looking at me, man. Got to scare, got to shake it up in the building, man. They be trying to make it seem like I'm Diddy or something. I run a clean organization and I respect people around me. Y'all just ain't seen it, man. I got the whole setup. Got golden. I'm sitting on the throne. Got lions and shit walking back and forth. I ain't even doing this from America. I'm in Dubai right now, man. I'm sitting up here in this Quasimodo motel. I don't know what it is. It look like a mushroom. I'm up at the top. I'm chilling, man. That's why I do my stuff during the springtime. And for the summer, I'm thinking about being in New York for a couple of months and then do the California inside my billion dollar loft. Oh my goodness. That's where I'm going to be doing the show from this summer, man. Y'all don't like that. People leaving the video because I'm talking like that. They leaving the video because I even said that. They like, oh, you ain't going to get no more of my views. This is where I do my, my shows in the summer in New York. It's online because they remodeling it. So hate on that. Why are you talking about Diddy all day? This is where I'll be talking about Diddy this summer. In California, Calabasas. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, what's good, man? This is Mari, uh, calling you from the B-Town, uh, Louisiana. What it do, bro? What's on your mind? Oh no, man! I was catching uh, you live, bro. I uh, just want to let you know right off the bat. You know, um, I subscribed to your channel a while ago, but uh, you know, what I'm saying I'm just now getting into your channel. And to get back on this city uh, topic, um, whatever caller that was a while ago, um, you were absolutely right when you said that um, this is not about race none of that type of stuff. This is mainly it seems like there is some type of uh, thing going on in the background. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff that's going on overseas. You know what I'm saying, but focusing on America. America knows how to keep people distracted with certain topics, especially when it comes to like Hollywood and our celebrities. You know what I mean? Because just in case in point, look, uh, Harvey Weinstein, you know, I don't mean to bring those names up oh man see you you trying to go down the creep show and all that man like Not people creep, chilling saying, we like, talking and everything man you want to do the whole creep show you want to go down the, the laundry list of the dirties man you want to try to wash a couple of day draws well, no, in no, the no, process no. man I'm, I'm not really talking about that but look it's people like to sit up there and say oh you know what i'm saying they're they're targeting our black uh entertainers and this and that you know what i mean so i come this just, way it uh, gets creepy on your tv like i want you to watch this it's gonna have you thinking something yeah watch it 
It's the creep show. Come on, let's talk about it. You trying to turn this into the creep show, bro? Hey, I'm not saying that Diddy, uh, you know what I'm saying, did anything with any of those guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying none of that, but I'm just saying, though, it's just highly convenient how they have a certain way of picking certain people to go after. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just, and, and that's just in, including, you know what I'm saying, street shit, too. You know what I'm saying? With all these gangs and stuff like that getting targeted. I'm not even going to bring up, you know what I'm saying, all the stuff that's going on with Yo Gotti, YSL, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a whole list. But that's just, you know what I'm saying, going to show you how much stuff that's going on. And, you know what I mean? It's just really for us to decipher, you know what I mean? I know we're talking to children, but, you know, I'm just giving, giving a certain type of, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> Man. Uh, equalizer. You know? While you trying to put down Diddy, I'm looking at my newest million dollar loft man diddy doing he he gonna be all right people oh, think yeah, about the wrong it. stuff i'm thinking about the right yeah, stuff i'm, I'm thinking about this million billion dollar loft while diddy's doing whatever the hell four million like sean blaze come get it man four million it's no big that's how i'm thinking y'all think about diddy suffering doing bad when the truth is he probably making more money now than he ever did selling records he probably somewhere on the rooftop drunk like yeah baby we're selling news. Woo! He probably living like Ric Flair. Like they're talking about me. I'm the king. I'm Diddy. This is my time. I'm the throne. I'm going to be the man. Hey, you definitely, you know what I'm saying? You definitely the hot topic right now. You know what I'm saying? Just like Cat Williams. Money. You know what I'm saying? Like. When they publicate his name, y'all must have forgot. He get paid. When people talk about him, they can't talk about him without paying him, man. Did he get a percentage? That's his brand. He's branded. That's his moniker they putting out there, man. He get, The more y'all talk, the more he gonna generate and revenue on some social media buzz. I better quit talking like this because I don't think they want y'all to even wake up and realize what the fuck is going on. Right, yeah, I was about to say that is it's true. Hell did he, man. This dude, he about to be... Come on, man. They, they get money to make money. However the money coming, like, well, they going to take the money, man. Whatever. It's, uh, it's entertaining. It's Hollywood, man. Ain't nobody ain't nobody watching no movies. When the last time you been to the movies? Uh, it's been a while, but I, I have been watching. Ain't nobody going to the movies. Like, the box office is closed. Nothing really, nothing really worth going to see like that. Ain't no box office. They, they ain't nobody going to the box. The office is closed. Like, who going to the box? The box, uh, they shut the box. They got to invent a new box. Like, it ain't been constructed yet. They trying to figure it out. This shit loopy. It be the same movie over and over. And I ain't just, dis- look, I ain't trying to disrespect these companies. Netflix is a beautiful company. I'm a subscriber to Netflix. I watch all of these movies. And I recommend that people watch these movies. All I'm saying is, Diddy. It's big media. He a big fuss. They got him. He, he mainlining, headlining. He's the star of the show. Like, how does he not get anything from that? Like, he's become he's mythical now. He's really, really a star. Like, they got him up. He like it. He like the attention. Let me show y'all something. And hold on, brother. No, I ain't trying to over talk you, but y'all got to see something. He like it. He liked the attention. He'll go out on Halloween dressed up like the Joker, talking, acting, doing his best impersonation, laughing, letting y'all know he know who the fuck he is. He the diddler. He the Joker. It ain't no coincidence. He know what the fuck he is. He come out there, bang, somebody get shot. He gonna run away like, ah, ha, 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 ha. He's a bad guy. He's a crooked New Yorker. Maybe the grimiest New Yorker ever thought of, the Joker. It's legendary. It's a it's a legendary character, man. He played that. And that's something you should never do. Not in public like that. What are you doing? He's out. He's his him true self. He's out of his shell. He's being who he he was comfortable in this, man. Cause that's how he really out here moving. He had a hell of a night. Come on, man. Yeah, real fun shoot. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a 90s kid, so I grew up on, you know what I'm saying, all the stuff that came out. I remember watching him on all that and junk, like, growing up as a kid. Yeah, Diddy was that dude, you know what I'm saying, for a while. Come on, man. 
The check's gonna keep getting bigger. Play boy. Where his Ciroc money at? He was making hundreds of millions with Ciroc. I don't recall them taking the money back. Like he's still, man. He could just gonna have to, if this is real, he just gotta push through it, man. He can get, look, they always willing. He got friends in the entertainment that's willing to forgive him. Will Smith got a movie. Let me show you something. Will Smith, he working on the movie. They making a new Bad Boys movie. It's gonna be coming out soon. He in shape. They Martin look healthy. They acting like ain't shit happen. Hold on. It's coming no, out. I'm like, they will forgive you if you act right and do right. They got a new one coming out. Like he's still and people gonna go see it because they wanna see the look on his face. Cause he know that we know that he know that we know that he slapped shit out of Chris Rock. He know that we know and we gonna be if if he slapped Martin in the movie, it's good. if he reach over and slap the shit out of Martin in the movie and Martin oh, instant. If he slapped Martin like how he slapped Chris Rock and Martin beat his ass in the movie. Oh, if Martin get up and get the beating Will Smith ass for slapping him in the movie, it's going to be a bigger classic than Friday, man. They need to put me on the producers board. That's what they need for to do. Real? They need to call me I would me watch up. that scene over and over again. Bro. That call me. Hollywood, man, yo, if you you a movie producer. Let's let's talk turkey, man. I got all types of theories. I could put it together. Stop playing. I I could make it happen. Just give me a chance, man. Cause this shit, I know how to make this a blockbuster. What well, what's going on in the world? Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, they some cops. I had them accidentally shoot somebody and try to get. Man, it'd be interesting. I'll make that. I had them apps accidentally shoot somebody but you find out in the end that they meant to shoot them on purpose and then when it all tied together they get off oh uh, that's the instant plot right look they they gonna take that in hollywood try to steal my shit that was off the top <laughs> uh you can't let them do that no uh, doubt man yo what's on your mind though i real fine, bro shoot honestly man hey i'm just tuning in you know on my that's mind. Hey, yo, yo, you the realest uh, of the realest, man. Bro, real time, man. Yo, that's what's up, man. Yo, we thank you so much for your phone call. We gonna holler at you later, man. No Ooh. doubt. Thank him so much for calling. I appreciate his call, man. You know, I kind of look at this like Showtime at the Apollo. And every now and then, it'd be like somebody call in. You'd be like, you need your own show. If we could have a conversation and match and, and make it interesting, shit, you know, that would be good. And it's now I appreciate all the callers, all the people that call in, man. I got love for y'all. I appreciate y'all for even taking the time out your day to pick up the phone and call a brother, man, because that's what I'd be wanting. But it's like. I need to call Quincy Jones or somebody and get some mojo swagging with these calls. Like, this is what you got to do, baby. This is what you got to do. You ain't got no pink in your room. Have Quincy Jones come to the house like, oh, damn, I see your problem. Ain't got enough pink. You got to get some more in here because it's going to help your flavoring for these sweet people out here, man. People... People today, they're sweet, man. People ain't used to be this sweet. This is sweet ass. These niggas are like sweet. Shit, Quincy probably break it down to you. How you look at life in a whole nother way. Like, you know what, man? I think I'm gonna buy me a bag of sugar, man. I use it. It works, you know, shit. Let me quit talking about that man like that. I got love for Quincy Jones. Hey, and you know what? You gotta put like 50 gallons of respect on his name. And that's what I'm about to do before I get out of here, man. All that shit I said, that entertainment fluff, this dude came up in music when music was invented. He was dead with the birth of jazz, the birth of uh, 
big band. He was an orchestrator already back then. Man, come on, this man. You talk about legendary. Y'all talking about Hell Diddy. Y'all don't y'all don't want to talk about Hell um Quincy, man. He don't want that type of praise though. He never put himself out there to get that type of praise. He just uh he does what he does. And uh he's good at it. And that's good for him. He's blessed. And everybody understood that. And whatever he got going on, don't nobody care. Just keep making the good music. That's how people used to think. How do you spell orchestrator? Oh I put castrator. Ostr I spell ostrich. I got kachastra. What's a uchastra? Uchastra tor? A uchastra. There we go. This is what I wanted to show y'all, man. This man is an orchestrator. Do y'all know what it takes to be an orchestrator? You have to feel energy. Quincy Jones is a master orchestrator. He uses his hands to conduct with his energy. He uses his energy to conduct the whole orchestra. He got the power. He's musically gifted like a he's a musical genius. He can pull it together with his emotions. Just follow my lead. Well, he put a cigarette in it. Music is he's music. He's a he's a, a legend. He been that way back when, man. Do y'all understand? Way back when he been getting his props. It's like he don't lived the average man's lifetime. He don't live the average man's lifetime like like four times. Probably not that much. Probably like three times. Y'all got to respect your elders because one day you going to get old and your story might not be what you want it to be because you didn't make the right decisions. You're going to have to live with that. This man, look, I don't have nothing bad to say about Quincy Jones. He's a, hey, he's been gifted. Some people just gifted. He's like, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm the man, look at me. I do the diddy dance, I'm the diddy. Uh, them young boys don't know about me. You must don't know about me. Yeah, I was a wild one. Yeah, you know, I'm Quincy Jones, bitch. What you want from me? Got money for days, everything's cheap. Yeah, got houses, cars, this is all money. You know, yeah. I'm gonna talk about some old money. I'm talking about some old money, man. You gotta put, you got, look, me personally, I respect Quincy Jones and all of the elders because they, did, they didn't make no dirty mess. Quincy Jones didn't leave no stains in the street with his music. He ain't leave no bloodshed nowhere with his lyrics. He ain't leave no bloodshed anywhere. All they did was spread love with their music, man. What's not the love about? Every last one of them. If it wasn't about spreading love, and they weren't doing it. It wasn't groovy, baby. Like, I can't get with that, Jack, because it is not spreading a positive message. So, um, I don't think we're going to be able to funk together, you dig? You come around there talking some devil shit, rapping and killing. Why would you say that about another killing another brother? No, that's not the message that I want to portray. She gave me money. They wasn't going to rock with you back then. Like th that was, you can't say nothing bad about Ray Charles, regardless of what they say. He's Mr. Ray Charles. Your granddaddy used to listen to his music, boy. Respect the game. But people ain't got no pride like that no more, man. So I still got pride in on people like Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson. And don't get me started on what matter of fact, get him off the screen, man. Don't even get me started. I don't want to go into that. Who the hell he kissing on like that? Hold up. Oh, man, this some some sneaky territory. I ain't know I ain't going in the sneaky territory, man. 
I don't want to talk about stuff. He a grown man. I ain't going. Mm -mm. Yo. All of them, man, them, them OGs. They deserve their respect. I ain't never rap about pulling the pistol. I ain't never young man. Let me tell you something. I ain't never made a song about a woman being a whore. I ain't never did that. I would never do a thing like that. You young kids that do anything to show your ass. That's a, that's what it is. A little prostitute whore don't care about nothing but getting money. Get money. It's sick. Then I would never, I would never do a thing like that. And you got to respect your elders, man. Because they ain't lying. They're like, hey, Jack, I'll never go that low. Go out there and sell poison to my people. I wouldn't sing about it, man. Y'all need to see this. This supposed to be about, yo, okay, we need to get back on track here. Because I know why y'all tuned in. Al be sure. He got a lot of resentment towards people, but not the Quincy Jones, though. R. Kelly was the man. Diddy was cool with R. Kelly, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. Diddy used to be boys with R. Kelly. That was his man's. Robert was good peoples. They made music. They hung together. They, they. Can you imagine the link up? Can you imagine the chemistry? I can't even imagine. The chemistry with Diddy and R. Kelly. If R. Kelly was moving like that, then his friends like y'all, why y'all friends? Like, I see what you're doing, playboy. He moved, he was moving with R. Kelly. They, that was his mans in the whole hundred grand. He out there with Omarion, the dude that they said Chris Stokes. They got all types of rumors out there, man. Yo, this man so legendary. Y'all ain't never gonna stop talking about him. But what does it all mean? Look, man. The these stars ain't aligning right. Y'all treat y'all got him. Y'all treat these celebrities better than real life angels. It's getting out of hand, man. Pastors need to preach. Cause this ain't right. How did we get here? Y'all looking at the wrong stars, man. And since I don't did all this shit and put Eminem and uh, Quincy Jones and Diddy and all them on the screen, I might as well just go ahead and keep this shit pushing, man. It hurts my heart. My heart. That they would allow, would allow for the media to speak on T.D. Jake's name like that. What is going, where is the church? What happened to the black? What is it? This is the, I understand. Y'all gotta understand. He's the represent, representative, the national representative for your average black pastor. He represents for the black pastors that's doing the right thing. It's bigger than TD Jakes. His foundation, what he does, what he do. He's a form of inspiration. He's in, he's an inspirational person. That's why he's on television to inspire. TD Jakes inspired a lot of people. When this news came out, a lot of people lost their inspiration. They they took down Diddy and at the same time, don't took your aspiration, man. 
Now people got jokes about the good pastor, man. I even made a video and took it down, man. This guy, we already lost Bill Cosby to this madness. We ain't got no legends. We, shit, all of our stars are being snatched out of the sky. Like, yeah, they, they just being, it's gonna be lights out. They keep on snatching our stars. It's gonna be lights out. Y'all ain't gonna have no lights to look at. You gonna be in the dark. Like your shit is canceled. Now you are not the kings of music, the king of blue. They'll, you can't even talk that shit about what you invented. Like there's no proof of any legendary anything cause it's all been torn down, dude. Like you ain't, you ain't shit. All of it. The stars is falling. Y'all just, y'all praying on the fall. I say keep them up there, man. Ain't nobody perfect. We all knew for a long ass time that Diddy wasn't perfect, man. How was this news? He knew who he was in the flavor in your ear video, man. Look at this, y'all. Yeah, y'all need to see this, man. Y'all knew who he was back then when he did this. When he did, that was his Bobby Schmurder moment, man. He was the first Bobby Schmurder. Before Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, MySpace, before social media, the black and white video on BET back in the day, who that man that did that dance? That's all people want to know. And once the people see you doing that dance, it's the oldest trick in the book. When people saw Michael Jackson dancing as a little boy, when they caught that sight, they knew who he was, man. Oh my goodness. So when Diddy did that, that's what established him. Like, okay, he gonna go ahead and play this game. And when you see a dude on the block dancing like that, you don't want to roll dice with him. Cause if he will, if he, he got a bop like that, he might not give you your money. Oh my Puff daddy. That's a dangerous game to play, man. And he been playing it since his kids was born, man. In the y'all, you know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all don't know how gritty the nineties was for real. A lot of y'all never witnessed it. You never lived through it. Or you was too young to remember it. The crack era. The crack era. Mm. It was a mess, man. It's like people's values was gone. It was just like whatever in your face with the mace, yo. And, and this is what was happening, man. It was even LL Cool, LL Cool J fell into the bullshit. And shout out to LL, but he was gully. And we don't remember LL being gully before this, this kicked in. It was the hardcore to your door. It was, it was a... And while they was doing this, man, the music industry was thriving. They, how much money you think they made off of the East Coast, West Coast beef? Oh my goodness. How much money was made? That was like a billion dollar industry. The beef. Hold on, man. That was his first charade. This ain't his first time having a charade. He had plenty of charades for the media. He know how it go. He was on the Vibe magazines and everything. This ain't his first go around with the media. Like that's what they do. East Coast versus West and bring every, they got, it's a war. 
It's a blood, it's a what? They're they're soldiers. Billy the kid from the east. Like they're up for slaughter. They had Biggie out there like he was a hog, just waiting to go, like I got one to slaughter. That ain't that cold. That nigga trying to slaughter me and shit with my foot, put me on the front line with the nigga Pac. I don't even know Pac. Like he know Pac. The Pac was his man. Pac was his boy. I don't know Pac. I met Pac through him. I don't know. I thought that was they was friends. I wanna be Pac friend because he was his friend. Trying to be cool with Diddy, oh, you know, Tupac, everything in the movie. Come on, man. Whatever Tupac and Diddy had going on, I don't trust it, man. I really don't trust it. Whatever they had, I don't know. Because his character is suspect. And if you ask me too, man, talking about Tupac is like talking about Black Jesus or something, man. Can't be out here talking about Pac and now Pac is the inventor of real. Pac was the first real one that people wanted to be. Like he the messiah of ignorance and it's sickening. Like my ignorant messiah Tupac Omara Shakur. Like it's African or something. I understand he is legendary. Machiavelli, don't try to scare me. But it was a, a facade that eventually got him caught up a whole lot faster than Diddy's facade got him caught up. Diddy's facade is like a crock, like a damn crock pot. His shit cooking for a long time. Tupac's facade. It was like a like a fat, like a burnt steak. And I don't mean that no disrespect. But thug life. You know where you headed, like you, hey, you put that energy out there. Hey, you legendary Machiavelli, but we would love to see you, bro. You know what I'm saying? He gone too soon, man. Gone way too soon, man. Rest in peace to Pop. But like I said, if he were Diddy, what in the hell was going on? And Diddy had the top hat at the party looking like the motherfucking gray panther not the pink panther but the gray panther man hold up yeah type typed it in there yeah showed up to the party with tupac dressed up like the pink panther did quincy did quincy jones tell him to wear that like, I need you to do me a favor when you get around Tupac. When you get around Pac Jack, I need you to be the cat in the motherfucking hat. Oh like, what tricks he had up his sleeve? Like, this gonna be an epic show. And show these niggas how I get down. Abracadabra, nigga. Like, drink that. Take that. Take that. Ah, oh like, I'm a wild boy. You ain't even hanging with the big boy right here. Like, I show these little niggas. How big boys do it. A bully. You know what it is. Puffy that dude in your neighborhood. That's going to try to pick on you just to show that he cool. They come out here with little dirty ass sneakers on. Look, look at your sneakers, man. Oh, you need to clean your sneakers and all that. Your sneakers fucked up. Look at your sneakers and look at my kicks. Like, come on now. What you doing? He one of them type of dudes. In my personal opinion. Got the fresh clothes because his mama, he the only child and his mama could spend all that money on him. And he in the neighborhood with the little kids talking about everybody dusty. Y'all remember that? He remind me of one of them type of dudes. And he older than you, so he way older than you. So you ain't you trying to like whatever, just stay out his way and all that. A older dude, 15, 16 picking on seven eight nine year olds and shit oh my like a real and then he grow up to be a loser talking all that shit and now you a loser y'all remember them people yeah my childhood man it got me thinking about diddy's childhood tupac's childhood what do they all got in common one thing for sure, 
they went to them weird ass schools. Diddy was in Catholic school. Tupac was in the school of the arts with Jada Pinkett. With Jada Pinkett, like how did he end up there? And she wound up like, what are the odds? Hold on, y'all. How did they end up? How did the stars align like that? It had to be some type of destiny, man. She the secret keeper. That's what she do. I'll keep your secret, secret forever and more. I'll keep your secret, your secret forever and more. That's what I think about it, man. I think she's the secret keeper. Like, that's what I do. I never tell. They be like, I love Jada. She ain't gonna say shit. Like, Pac, you know I ain't never gonna say shit. Like, that's what I need, nigga. Yeah. Because people going to be questioning me about my past. They going to want to know about them years when we was in high school dancing. Now I had on no tight pants. They going to want to know. Because it's gangster shit, man. That's what's making money. I hate that he came during the time of hip hop. If we would have got Tupac in the Michael Jackson era, he would have gave Michael the run for his money, man. If Tupac came out in like the the 70s better yet if he came out before gangster rap he would have been he would have been a powerful black entertainer with a family lineage take his he would have took his stance on what he believed in but if the industry was cleaner he would have been able to survive a lot longer and have a purpose and have a meaning in his life, man. Only if the media at the time he was born was clean. This nigga fell straight into juice. He fell, he dropped out of the matrix goo into the juice. Hold on, y'all. He was born into the matrix. He fell out of the pot. He had slipped out. Like that's the time he was born in. He slipped out the pot and landed into juice. Boom. Look at this, man. He wasn't about none of that life for real. They put a gun in his hand and told somebody, shut the fuck up. And this is during 21 Jump Street and all that. Like, this was bizarre. Like, dude, you took that role. Like, you're a rock star now. Oh shit, you you do rock? Okay, Pac, like it's the hip hop, huh? The kids he went to school with, with Jada Pinkett, they probably called, and it was a bunch of successful people they went to school with. They were probably was calling him like, good job, I seen your movie, but don't you think that's kind of cold and twisted? You want to keep doing that? Like, you don't understand me because I'm black. Okay, dude, you changed. And I ain't trying to make this about Tupac. But I never understood how you, how gangsters, like, what's, he can, the facade, like, the, like, take off. He was still, Tupac was still young. If you're going to be somewhere, you got to, why don't people take off the facade? If you take off the facade, does that make you a sellout? So you got to be at the party with the do rag just to, for the photos. I know he wish he probably could have snatched that shit off. Like, man, the hell with this damn do rag. Like, I really don't even want to wear the do rag, but you know, it's this hip hop culture shit I'm in. I got to keep up an image. He looked like he'd been tussling with that do-rag all night. Like, is it this way or that way? This way or that way? The dude from Milli Manilli walked by like, huh, this way. Like, oh shit, that's the dude from Milli Manilli. Everybody got it for some, and this ain't no disrespect to Pop, but he was a good brother. As he was, all this thug life shit, 
it's like society and yeah man it's like society made the he had to make a decision if it was some some soulful music to be sold i'm pretty sure he could have produced it he would have been the best at it i could see pop on showtime at the apollo doing something incredible dancing singing he was a dancer that's how he started out he was dancing for the own um, digital underground he got into hip hop when it was still positive when it was really hip hop dancing breaking DJing drawing graffiti and he was a he was a dancer in the damn that's what he was doing to be cool be accepted be social he chose hip hop until hip hop and unfortunately for him everybody was rooting for hip hop to be a positive thing on some Wakanda forever shit when it first started you had the Zulu nation and all these people trying to make it the Zulu nation was basically Wakanda in the 90s man and people was repping it until this thug life all this shit came about as a gimmick on some easy e nwa i know people get mad when i say that they made a movie about it hold on y'all like why he tripping on the west coast why he tripping on the west coast hold on man that up yeah yeah put that up y'all need to see this man they made a movie about it. Straight up CB4. Dudes fronting. For them, they be like, Easy, a real one. Man, I ain't gonna speak bad on Easy. I ain't got nothing bad to say about none of them. All I got to say is it's a horrible facade. Horrible. A bad niggas with attitudes. Let me show y'all something. Remember when I said that these rappers are wrestlers? The National Wrestling Allegiance. I'm pretty sure they was watching it when they was kids. When Ric Flair was the man to see. Ric Flair? The most flamboyant, the most, the, the king, the most gangster, wheeling and dealing, riding and stealing, always chilling, Ric Flair, woo, was the man. I'm pretty sure they was watching NWA when those wrestlers and their facades, when those great facades, they admired the facade. They made their own this terrible ass facade that's comical. But the sad part about it is people started taking it seriously. And me personally, I don't think NWA intended for people to take it seriously. They was just trying to be funny. Some silly kids in the attic making funny tapes, man. I've done it. Trust me, I made plenty of funny tapes. That's how I'm able to record. Been making funny tapes since I could remember. You get a tape recorder or whatever, your Walkman could record, get a tape, whatever. Press record and just say shit. And play it back and if it sound funny, make another one that sound even more funny. Funny tapes. I'm convinced. They would on some black exploitation character rapping like uh, Mr. T or some shit. Ice Cube probably was thinking if okay, Mr. T or somebody make a rap, what would it sound like? Creative. He was expressing himself as a young man playing. 
And people took it seriously. The facade. A character that somebody create in their own mind. Like Diddy. Somebody gave him that trick. And taught him about that hat. Ludacris pointing like, yo, right here, dog. So what I taught these boys about music, it ain't just sing and dance, you dummy. I'm an orchestrator. I understand energy. It's all about the time and Michael. Michael like, I love energy. I know energy. Bubbles, Bubbles has great energy. I fucking love his energy. Bubbles have energy. That's not even human. It's, it's, it's native. It's, it's natural. He eats bananas. My man went out there and bought bubbles, man. And people think that's weird. But, you know, it don't get no more spiritual than that. You got a, a damn chimpanzee running around your house. You got some some shit going on. You that's better than having a rooster. Your rooster ain't shit compared to his giraffe. I'm just saying, man. Hold on. We're going to take a little detour. I'm going to come back. Matter of fact, I ain't going nowhere. Yo, Reg, go ahead and play that, man. The business, dog. We're seeing that large present. New video, Diddy slowly pacing outside Miami's private jet facility at 3 p.m. yesterday via TMZ as Homeland Security raided mansions on both coasts from his $35 million waterfront estate in Florida to Beverly Hills. I'm outside Diddy's $40 million pad. It's quiet now, but yesterday, media, SWAT vehicles, dozens of armed officials and investigators descended on the property, seizing boxes of evidence and putting his sons Christian and Justin in handcuffs. They were reportedly detained and released. So what does this raid mean for Diddy and any evidence against him? Law enforcement had enough to get the search warrant. They maybe even have enough to get an indictment. And if so, I expect Diddy to be arrested in a matter of days and no more than weeks. This afternoon, Diddy's attorney called the raid a gross overuse of military level force and part of a witch hunt, adding that his client is innocent and was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. How y'all doing? Seems like Diddy was completely caught off guard. Check out his demeanor just six days ago, beaming while out with his son Quincy in West Hollywood. So where's the rapper now? Well, all eyes have been focused on tracking his private jet, which left LA around 9 a.m. yesterday, bound for Antigua and Barbuda. The United States has an extradition treaty with Antigua and Barbuda, which means that Diddy can be arrested there and brought back to the United States. Where do you go to relax in the world? Uh, I like oh. the Caribbean. No, oh, he's not man. on the flight, oh. he's not on that flight but Okay, get it together, bro. Get travel. it together. Turn all that shit off, bro. Hold on, wait. Y'all stay tuned. Went. Oh my God, what the hell going on? Y'all still there? Okay, we good. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. How, what we got up in here, man? Y'all chilling. What's going on tonight? What's happening? Did he going crazy? What is up? What is what? What is it? Is it Pisces season or something? We going to have to get into that. It got to be Pisces season or something. I need to understand it. So it's two fish, right? Ain't that what it is? What the two fish all about? Cause that's where we at with it. Y'all let me know. Get the conversation going. Cause we about to get into Diddy's Zodiac. What is this man's Zodiac? We up. We've been on here for what? Three hours. This shit need to be said at this time right now or else i ain't gonna be able to i gotta i gotta say whatever it is i gotta say man and i'm defending diddy man i don't wanna i'm not trying to tear the brother down i'm just trying to understand it look ugly people really obsessed with this stuff it's like you ain't got no choice but to face it like it really matter is it really that deep let me see something man 
I hate to go this. It's already late, so I might as well just go deep, man. <clears throat> what is this about? Young Miami picks Diddy Zodiac sign as the best because they're womanizers. His Zodiac, he ain't think about you. Somebody lying. He don't even look at her like that. He was using Cassie to get BBCs for the freak off. She make it seem like she that hot chick. How is he womanizing you? Yo, hello. He paid her to say that. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? The fuck? Anyway, man, people just be calling in, ruining my damn show. Or trying to ruin the show. But the show will continue. What is his? Young Miami said her former flame Diddy's um, size the best one to date in all of this astrology. They're known to engage in numerous romantic affairs with women. Why would that be the best sign? Ain't that dangerous? She want a dog. Who told, who paid her to say that? And there's people that read that like, that's right. It's ignorant, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, Sean. Hey, what's going on? I didn't know on? if this was real or not, or if I was late. No, you Let good? Let me you down. I, I thought this, I was late. No. You've never been on here this late. Yeah, man, I, I'm over here. We spinning and tripping and talking about Diddy. I'm getting into his zodiac sign. I'm trying to. I, I've been I've been listening to you. I was cleaning up, you know, just straightening up and listening to you at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that was that, I like what you were saying about, you know, you said this this hurts my heart. And when you said that, I felt that like this hurts my heart too with T.D. Jakes and you know at, at that moment all the stuff that you was talking about. So wow, but yeah. anyway. I yeah. dialed the number. I wasn't sure because if this was really live. Right? Oh yeah, we live. You called in and we still on here. You thought you was listening to a replay or something. You like hell? <laughs> now you on the I live. knew I wasn't because I turned it on earlier, but it's off on my phone. And you on know what? Well, you ain't going. Stop, you, but it's still on the television. You, you call and you here and you right here, dead smack in the <laughs> arena. <laughs> Yeah, you you right. right there, man. And the question for tonight is: Is Diddy uh -oh. the biggest freak uh -oh. in the game? Is he the biggest one? Because they tried to make a lot of people look like big freaks. I don't think so. You don't think he's the big? Because they paint him out to be like he's the biggest well, nasty. They did the same thing to Michael Jackson, and uh, you know, no, I don't think that he he's the biggest. I don't know. I'm not gonna judge. I, you know, I've, I'm, I'm, I've been watching everything, the Baltimore, you know, because I'm in D.C. I'm in the DMV. And, um, you know, so there's stuff happening on our end, too. There ain't nobody focusing on Diddy right now. Did you hear about the, I don't want to uh, oh, take the focus off your show. Oh, I did. Yeah, Baltimore, that's real. Oh, man, I did, I did. Yeah, I'm in Maryland, that. that's real. So, you know, that yeah. was heartbreaking, too. So it's yeah. it, this all over the news here. Ain't nobody even talking about no Diddy right now. There's, there's more important stuff going on with that bridge. Six that people lost their lives, oh, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, man, I but want I, I want y'all really to like pray for them, man. Real talk, man. Oh, of course, yeah, I'm right I'm here down. where it is. That's that's pretty tough, and you know, um, it had you thinking deeper about life too. You know, you gotta appreciate every moment because you know you out here playing, being ungrateful, and you just never know. Some shit might yeah, go man. down, man. So, you know, rest in I peace mean, to them people. It's man. different when you hear stuff, you know, and it's far away, but this hit home. Because I'm right here in the DMV. I'm in my Yeah, when it hit so when home. It, when like it's like right that. at your back door, it's yeah. different. It's a, you know, it's, this is real. Yeah, it's really real out here. You know, it's people a lot of. A lot of stuff going on out here. You know, everybody feeling it one way or another. And that's why you got to ask yourself, like, um, you know, what's going on? You know, why everybody going through it? I got my theory on why everybody going through this. But, you know, maybe somebody else feel another way about it. Right. Yeah. Real talk, man. You got me over here crying in the man. I'm crying. Why you call up here and Bless got me crying, heart. man? So oh, man. Yo, I want to pray for you and Bless all them people. Man. I heard you. When you said that, I was putting some no um, doubt, papers man. in this box. 
Yeah. Straightening up. Okay. But I had the TV on. Mm-hmm. I could hear your voice in the yeah. living room. That's what's and up. You said, huh? my, you said that hurts. You said my heart yeah, is hurt. It was hurting and all that. And we want to thank you for bless calling in, sister. Heart. God bless your heart. And we're going to holler oh. at you later. Real talk, man. God bless her heart. She just as sweet as apple pie, man. I love that sister right there. Thank you so much for your phone call, beautiful. That was amazing. She called in with so much class, elegance, and grace. Like I was saying, man. Diddy, what's his shit? He a Sagittarius? Ain't that like a creepy crawler or something like that? No disrespect to the Sags. I'm Sagittarius. The balls hang low, Playboy. Oh my goodness. No Diddy. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, it's Twan from Pittsburgh, bro. What's up, bro? What's on your mind? Oh, man, I just want to tell you, like, um, just started watching watching you on um, YouTube here just recently. You's a funny dude, man. How you going to call mean, me and tell me I'm a funny dude? Hold on. Funny. Wait a minute. I'm a funny dude and all that. So I'm just here to make you laugh. I'm just Mr. Funny. <laughs> Point your fingers and laugh. I'm, just, I'm the joker now. No, I'm no, fun, no, I'm no, just no, here to no, entertain. No, Am no, I here no, to entertain no. you? That's what that's what this is. I'm here to end. I'm just the, the laughy, laughy man. No, you give info too, bro. Oh, info with the laugh. So I'm informing you while I'm making you laugh. It's informative and it's laughy, laugh. I'm just the, the jackal man. Is that <laughs> is that what you telling me, man? Is that what you trying to explain to me? <laughs> Man. No, no, no! Like, like you do, Diddy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, we, on, we, man. we, I we do me, you do you. You trying, you trying to do me? You need to be doing you. That's the problem. You call, you trying to do me? I'm doing me. You trying to do me? I'm trying to see when you gonna start doing you, man. I'm the laughy, right. laughy, jokey man. I don't like that. We too grown to be acting like that, man. Hey, I ain't trying to take down your five star show, bro. It's a five star presentation. You got a coloring book and all. And I appreciate you, brother. You all right. And you call, you I ain't have to call. You, too, my man. you know what? This is bad customer service. Let me be a professional. Wait once. Let me rewind it. Take it back. Look, man. You called in to the Sean Blazerton show. And I got to let you know right now, things like that is very appreciated. There's people watching, but there's not a lot of people calling. But you're one of the people that decided to call so i want to give you a token of my appreciation because i needed that for my show for my views you contributed to my channel and i appreciate you and everything you had to say was very amazing and that's why the next time when i go live you definitely have to call back because it's people like you that keep this show rolling so i want to say thank you and also your conversation was amazing. So the next time we go live, bro, make sure you call back. We would appreciate it. Real talk. Real talk, man. I really do appreciate him. What is, what the fuck is going on? What is happening tonight? It's a strange time in 2024. The Pisces was, I don't know what it was. I gotta learn, man, because everybody feeling something. And I need to get to the bottom of it because I'm, I'm definitely feeling something, man. We gotta figure it out. And I ain't trying to weird y'all out, but what do this even mean? What Can somebody help explain? Because what? Two fishes in the pond circling each other's tail. Oh. oh my goodness. You find yourself in a situation that you've been in before. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Oh shit. So that's what that hold on yo. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Damn, you got the, the people calling in, interrupting the show. Yo, hello, hello, who this is, man? Yo. What's going on? That ain't nothing but the devil working, man. You know what it is? 
No, we don't need that beat. We need this beat. They don't want me to expose the truth. They don't want me to get to the bottom of this. They don't want me to reach Atlantis. They don't want to see me do it. They don't want to see me be the great. They going to hail me instead of Diddy. If these phone, hold on. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, Sean, my baby. This is Raina. Damn, I thought you was going to say show. something tragic when you said it like that. No, I've been watching your show. Mm. I've been sending a lot of comments up. I said, let me call because not too many people call. You ain't got to feel what? sorry Everybody... for me. You ain't got to call because I like it when it ain't a whole lot of people calling. That way I could shine on my own show instead of somebody calling in talking to me like you doing me a favor out of pity or something like that. I like it when people don't call that much. I enjoy talking. Obviously, I've been on here for three hours. I feel quite good about it. People calling here trying to steal my light with they dirty shoes stepping all on my rug and got the nerve to tell me my house funky. Who part of the game is that? You got a lot of nerves, sister. I know I know who you are. We family, whether you like it or not, I understand we what so you doing is, when you call when you be acting like that. You my ba you my baby. Mm -hmm. you, my, you know mm -hmm. you you know you my baby. You know I love mm -hmm. you. Where my heart say? Mm -hmm. They right here, baby. They trying to see my heart. Yeah, they all on the screen, man. I can't even get them all. I think I'm going to leave it like this for the rest of the night and talk to you <laughs> like this and then end the live and don't say bye or nothing. Oh, okay. That's what we're going to okay. We're going to leave it right here. Keep it grown, romantic, all that stuff. And when we done talking, I'm just going to click the video and they're going to be wondering what happened. Yeah, oh, mm -hmm. thank you, baby. Yo, that's what You're it so is. You're so sweet. You're such a sweetheart, Yo, That's the way it's going to be for the rest and of the just night. just know, mm -hmm. just know, mm -hmm. you are so loved. Mm -hmm. And you are, in, and your program is mm -hmm. so welcome and wanted in mm -hmm. so many of our lives. You oh, don't know man. how you pick us up out here. Mm -hmm. you, you make us laugh. For real? You make us think. For real? Yeah, we be engrossed mm. into your program. Mm. People ain't calling because they so hung up on watching it. Yeah, they they listening. They yeah, they like. They be listening, Sean. Yeah. They love. Li I love listening to you. Dude, I do. You do. I do. Oh man, that that's amazing. I love listening. To, that's why I don't want to hear no more phone calls, man. Because I'm listening. I love listening to you too. I could go to sleep. Matter of fact, I'm about to. Uh, uh, I'm about to fuck. Mm. Mm. You about to what? <laughs> you can. You can go to sleep after talking to me, and that way you can think about me. And think about all the wonderful things I think about you. You sleep? <laughs> John! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 what's up, man? Hold on, Reggie. Reggie, fix the music, bro. Fix the music. It's all over the place. What the fuck? He got the whole... Gu it sound like a hot mess in here. They pressed all the buttons, Reg. Back, back up, bro. Just hold on. Okay, let me get this together. Okay. Oh, uh, you right. know I love you too, babe. You really still got this all. <laughs> That's for me, sister. I don't know what's going on. I don't fell asleep and came back. I feel like I'm in a whole nother world right now, sister. Okay, you ain't you ain't locked up in the Diddy world, are you? Diddy is definitely, I definitely see Diddy and he looks very creepy. <laughs> what is this, what is this spell that they cast him with this Diddy guy? Like why, why are we focused on the joke? Why is the Joker in the news? Like what they got going, what is, <laughs> you know, in the Batman movies, all of the police rush downtown to stop the Joker. Come to find out his ass in the suburbs. Oh he just blew up some shit. They're like, damn, <laughs> now we, we don't know where he at. That's what he does. He distracts and entertain. Lord, have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. It's crazy, though. It's really wild. It really, really is. It's wild. Really wild, man. Right. But you know. It's really wild. Yeah, a lot of these entertainers get thrown in the skillet, but they always come back alive and well. And, they, you know, they just got to, you know, take a hit for the entertainment. But I feel like a lot of celebrities take hits for the entertainment business. 
Yeah, they said even bad news is is, is needed news. Shit. It's better than good. They keep Pe- on rubbing. People don't want to hear good news. That's how sad and depressed people. People don't want the good news. Back in the day, good news sold like how bad news. I mean, bad news was sell more, but good news was for sale. That's why when you in the grocery store and you see them magazines sitting there, like just in case yeah. anybody want good news, it's like a prune or some shit. It's there for people that actually want to see some positivity. It's just they will never go out of print because they basically like Bibles. Like, hey, it's some pages of good news. And if you when the last time you seen somebody pick up one of the magazines. Right. I haven't. They just sitting there as a novelty. It's like a novelty section. You go by the magazine section in the store. It's like you walk past that motherfucker fast like it's a church sitting right there. (laughs) <laughs> I still pick them up. Actually, I still, well, if I see a nice hairstyle on the cover that I like, um, I'll look inside the book because I'm looking for more hairstyles. Mm, this is a nice hairstyle. Maybe I'll see what's on the cover and what they're talking about. Well, while I'm waiting in line, I'll read it. I'll read a, a, a little bit of an article or two. And put it back down. And put, and put that thing back. right this, back. This shit's just, them shits is high. They're like $16, ain't they? Yes. Yeah. And you know what? I bought uh, two Aretha, Aretha Franklin's book. Um, it was the the one with everything on the inside from her childhood all the way up. Because I, I asked this guy one time in the line. I was like, so um, you think one day that this might be worth some money? He said, it might be. He said, I don't know. He said, you should buy two. So I did. They was uh, twenty. They were $22 a piece. I bought two. And then I gave one to somebody that I thought was a nice person. It was a bad out. investment from this. Aretha, what you think? They gonna, what they going to do with Aretha Franklin magazine? You going to sell that on eBay and some old, old lady going to be like, I got to have my Aretha. And she going to pay you a million dollars. I don't think a million, but it it could be worth something someday. It's that one. Yo, I got that one. If they start throwing alligator, if the, if the they do the purple one, the the commemorative edition, I bought two of those. That's what's up, ma. You just call up here talking about Aretha Franklin. What that got to do with P Diddy? <laughs> Just saying, you were talking about you better, Diddy. you better. I look, I'm gonna have to make it about Diddy, man. If they take down Quincy and Motown, then they gonna have to talk about Aretha, man. And it's a whole bunch <laughs> of stuff that people don't really talk about. If you, but if you wanted to be disrespectful and talk about this queen's personal business in the media, then you could be the grease ball to do it. I ain't gonna be the one to do it. But they <laughs> said a lot of stuff. Him. They say a lot of stuff about all different. They talked about Aretha bad too. Now, I love Aretha Franklin. Yeah, they do. I, I wouldn't yeah, go into none yeah. of the stuff. I wouldn't go into none of the stuff they said about Aretha. Mm-hmm. You respect Aretha. You keep Aretha Franklin name out your mouth when it comes to her I personal bit. I, pers- I hope I can get paid off of two of them magazines. Well, one, because I gave you one respect, to somebody else. You respect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I respect Aretha. You respect Aretha. When you talk I about, do. That's why I got two magazines. I know you do, but I'm talking to the people out there that would do a blog talking oh, okay, bad. Gotcha. You don't do. You don't talk bad about no real. She ain't never put on no chain. She wasn't no little Kim. She ain't never make a song about being a thot or having a wop or none of that. She respect. You respect people that respect they self, man. That's just as simple as it is. You could do a Nicki Minaj pop your booty video. She disrespects herself. Then hell, it don't even make no big deal. Right. Absolutely. So, 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 Sean, I got a question for you. It, it ain't about Diddy, but it's, but it's a quick question. I just your thoughts on it. So, what you think about all this booty bouncing around and all of this stuff right oh, now? What yeah. you think about like the next five, oh, yeah. five, six, seven, ten years from now? Uh, what you think gonna oh, happen yeah. with that? Because that's gonna... all everybody doing. That's all yeah. they all doing. Yeah. And they yeah. and all of them look alike. They all look yeah. alike. Yeah. It's what all think, and it's honey? all it's all good. Cause you know what, the consumer is willing to buy whatever is for sale man it's it's a consumer thing they making millions of billions of dollars off of booties man it, you look it's people out here looking like dumbo booty but it's somebody in dubai right now living it up with peacocks and shit walking around his damn house 
It's money. If you want to look yeah. like whatever you want to do, it's a person willing to do it to you for the money. If you want to look like a giraffe, let that start trending. It'd be a motherfucker. I learned the technique to use oxtails to connect to your regular bone so your facial structure look like whatever you're trying to do. This is evolution, man. It's evolution. It's technical evolution. It's money. These people out here, when you see a person all did up, you looking at money lost or money put in. Yep. The, that butt is just money stuffed in the ass. Oh That's what it is. The money go into the body. That's all it is, man. People putting money into their body. And but you I could mean, what just, about, it is what it is. People people do it, make them mean, happy. But I mean, right, but Sean, I'm talking about the industry. What you think about all the females looking the same with the booty and twerking and all of that? What you think? What you is you think that's gonna be around the next Ten years, like this, in these few years coming up in yeah, the yeah, yeah. People want to look good. That's what it boils down. People want to look good. People want to look like what their definition of good is. So they want to be a bad. They want to have their life experience as a bad bitch, and they can actually pay to get it done. They go. They had a um a rapper. Her mother. I forgot the name of the rapper, but her mother went and got a BBL. She was a regular old nanny, water your grass, old lady. I'm talking about her body was just like, she old. She looked like she I had green hair. Her. I, you seen I that? I saw that. I saw the picture of her. Cause what's his name? Uh, 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 said something about it. The, the comedian, Shula King. He said, well, if you, he, it, they, they sent him a picture and he said, well, people want to know what I think about this picture. He said, you know, I'm, I'm one, you don't disrespect nobody grandma like that. He said, so, uh, cause the, uh, next to the picture, it said, what would you do if you was over your boy house and, and open the bathroom door? No, and, what and that got to do? What that got to do with Diddy? <laughs> Come on, man, you <laughs> had that call. Call, call up um old boy and had that conversation. No, no, you don't promote no, it. Tell, call his that. channel and no, tell him about no. the Sean Blazerton channel. That's what you no, need to do. No, you romanticizing. No, no. You romanticizing about. You need to call him and tell him about his show. How about tell him no. about my show? That's what you need to do. Call up old boy and no, romanticize no. about his show with his. We talk about. <laughs> I gave you the courtesy to talk about whatever you want to talk about, and you talk about a whole other channel and all that. We talk about Diddy. You ain't talk about Diddy. You ain't talk about Diddy. You ain't talk about LB Short. You ain't talk about nothing that got nothing to do with this video. You talking about a whole other. YouTuber, okay. go to his channel and talk about the Sean Blazer okay, channel so and see if so that would even be think. allowable. Now, thank you so okay. much for your phone Ooh. call, and I appreciate your ghetto ass. Oh, my goodness. How dare her call me with that nonsense, man? The disrespect playing all in your motherfucking face with the doodle fingers. What part of the game is that? Jack. Man, I wish I knew Quincy Jones. Now, man, I talk shit about y'all all night on the phone with Quincy Jones. I only can imagine what he got to say about y'all. Like that last caller, you know, it's people like that in the world, man. They just love hearing they self talk. Don't even know anything about the language. Don't you know people speak a language their whole life and don't even know a damn thing or a history about the language that they speak and they all day talk and sounding ridiculous, you know? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? How you doing, love? It's Trini. You say you a what now? My oh, name is Trini Empress. How oh. you doing? Oh, what's going on, ma? No disrespect to the queen, man. Hail the queen. Hail the queen. Blessings. Um, yeah, what's going on with, with Diddy? I saw he's uh, all of a sudden overnight he's at Tegan. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, son is in Antigua. What's going on? He put Antigua on the map. I'm from Trinidad, and he has Antigua on the map. Yeah, man. He um he on the run or whatever the case is. We really don't know. Me personally, I feel like it's good entertainment and news. Why be a rapper when you could be a public villain? This is an industry. It's Who else gonna take the the plunge? Who else gonna take wanted. the? Who else gonna take the dive? That's how I feel. I like it. I like I like it. It's the entertainment is real, but Wallace, he has money. Um, 
he's not gonna be on the welfare line. Period. Yeah, man, they go to this festival. Yo, y'all need to see this, man. Y'all need to feel me on this. Y'all ever heard of Burning Man? I just wanted to contribute that little. Oh man. Word up. And thank you so much for your call, beautiful. We appreciate you. And make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Real hey. talk, man. I appreciate her so much. She called in and showed me so much love. And I thank her dearly. All of the callers, man. Everybody that called, I got nothing but love for y'all. Word up. Y'all ever heard of Burning Sand? Oh my goodness. Or Burning Man, this festival. They all went. It's like Mad Max. It's lawless. Burning Man. It's like the ultimate. It's like Six Flags for celebrities. Like they out there. It's in the middle of nowhere. Who cares, dude? Who fuck is anarchy? Like, yeah. You want to hang? Like, do you really want to hang? Diddy was out there. Like, I can hang. Like, oh shit, I hung with Diddy. Like, he's a real rock star, you know? Diddy was there. He went. He participated in all of the festivities. He survived. He was out there. That is dope. A lot of people don't think this is dope, though, but you know, I'm just saying, Diddy is a wild boy. Kanye trying to be a wilder boy than Diddy. Like Kanye cut it out. Look at this. They trying to be, they trying to write their names in history. They trying to sketch they, they shit. They want to be placed in history so bad. So bad. Well, Kanye is definitely this Jesus, he y'all bought the album. What y'all want him to do? Y'all bought the album. Y'all went out there and got it and listened to it faithfully like his apostles. He did Tupac up one on this one. Tupac depicted himself as dead. Yeezy predicted himself as alive and well, and y'all bought it. Y'all accepted his message. Y'all go with his program. Don't even get me started, man. Y'all, we all bought it. And rocked it and been bopping. It's in your playlist. He told you he Jesus. And you accepted him. Jay-Z told you he was Hove. Y'all accepted that too. He could get away with calling himself Hove. If his name is Jay, we'll come after Jay. It's a nice play on words. It's creative, man. But to call yourself Yeezy is ripping off Jeezy. Because if it wasn't for Kanye West, I mean, if it wasn't for Jeezy, you wouldn't have wanted to be Yeezy. Let's be real. Look at this, man. How many times you seen them together? Where he get his swag, his drip, his hang? When you see them hoes, just ride slow, homie. Just ride slow, homie. When you bump with them hoes, you ride slow, homie. You don't think he took none of that, that Atlanta drip? Y'all don't think that Jeezy influenced him to call himself Yeezy? Then turned around and sold sneakers? Using Jeezy's name and his swag, Yeezy's. Come on, man. Talking about the who the drip master. He trying to do. He trying to. He trying to out drip. Everybody. He want to be better than Hova. Jesus, that's a spite. That's a slap in the face. How can Achilles go at Zeus? Oh my goodness. Like you're a nice, you're a nice rank, but you cannot spite my throne. Yeezy. Yeah, you selling records, you doing numbers because of me. 
I'll put you in position. I'm your boss. He can't talk to Jay-Z. He talking crazy. How could he talk crazy about Jay-Z? If it wasn't for Jay-Z, nobody would have been interested. You would have been some underground. You would have been rapping with Common at best. Rapping with Common at best. Oh my goodness. And doing beats for Ninth Wonder at best. You would have been doing beats for Little Brother. If it wasn't for Jay-Z. Hey, hold on, man. I dare Kanye West to ever speak bad about Hove, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, this is Rhea, Corey. What's going Corey on, Rhea? A. That's what's up. How you I, feeling? I just wanted to say, I'm feeling fine. I just wanted to say, do you think when the millionaires get um, money that they think that they're invincible when they get to a certain level of it? Because, uh, hmm. because, because they didn't uh, learn this stuff on their own right. They were taught by... They were taught by the masses. We need you to cut that off in the background. We don't even know what I you know, just said. To. We don't mm -hmm. even know what you you talking. We can't even hear it because whatever that is was so loud. And you still got it on. Oh my! Why y'all disrespect me like that, man? I can't even think I'm straight. Sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'm just over here but trying yeah. to do a five star you presentation. You hear me talking? Are you still talking? What part? Am I the old man at the candy shop? Y'all just coming in here, snatching all my candy, <laughs> running around, got candy rolling all over the place. It's a mess. I don't mean to disrespect. Why people you. don't I respect apologize. black? Why people don't respect black businesses, man? That's why I love that's I why love black businesses be so rude. Cause y'all don't got y'all come up in there, feed all dirty track and mud all through the restaurant. Disrespectful. I don't do that. I be cleaning up after people when I go into a restaurant. I don't do that. We talk you talking about restaurants. Oh my god. We talking well, about Diddy. We talking about Diddy. We gotta keep the eye on the prize, man. We talking okay. about Diddy and what's going so on what in his I'm life. What I'm thinking is is that when you get to a certain level um, when you get a certain amount of money, you think you're invincible, right? And then when um, the other side tell you that you can do this and you can do this, and you think, oh, okay, yeah, it's all good and gravy, but then as soon as your time is up, then they just throw the book at everybody, and then I just think that they throw the book at, at all the black men right now, even though they have, you know, went into that, uh, what, what would I say? The rabbit with the carrot. Or, or the they got the carrot and you're the rabbit. Oh, come over here, come over here, come over here. But you and know what? I don't think it, that's what it is, sister. I don't think that's that ain't what it is at all, man. If you live, you if you was is? ever, if you live in file, mm -hmm. you can be exposed for living file. If you ever, even in the past, if you did some file shit, you can yeah. be exposed for doing some foul shit, especially if it got something to do with women. Because I mean, it's all it's all it's it's all a choice. I agree, but when you think that because people can blow your head up, and especially when you there's you know all that other kind of stuff going on in the background, I'm not even going to say, you know, uh, women, you know, the, the drug. I said I'm not going to say it, but the women, the drugs, the men, everything. You think that you're invincible. I mean, I couldn't even imagine living that lifestyle. But if I was, somebody might be able to manipulate me to make me think that I'm invincible. You never freaking know when you're dealing with people just, uh, putting money all in your hand like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just give you a big old break. Bow, bow, bow. How you like me now? Be like, oh, okay. Is that how it really is? Oh my but I'm not, I, I wouldn't tell my She hit me with the Curtis like, Blow and y'all expected me not to blow up, man. She did a bye. <laughs> like she did a Martin Lawrence on y'all. And y'all expect me to keep it calm and collected. But, bad uh, how you I'm, like me now? I, we trying to have a dude. This, we trying to, whoo, man, y'all oh just call up in here. And y'all just, y'all. Man, this is an educational video. Did you even read okay. the question? What what's the question? Uh he was talking about uh what what makes Oh my goodness. 
people do what they no, do. Like, well, well, what, is what, is even, you said, what is it? What is it? You said, what is it? You talking about the video and don't even know about the question, Pisces. man. You talking it, about the Pisces oh, this season when I came is in. The Pisces it is what it is, sister. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But you know, Scorpios you know, are freaky by nature, though, anyway. So no Diddy is a Scorpio. Diddy a freaky Scorpio. That's exactly what he yeah, is, Yeah, by man. nature. By, by nature. And so it just grew and grew and grew into you know, uh, a monster. Yeah. He yeah, a monster so and everything, man. No doubt. And, and when it comes to sex, when it comes to when sexual comes activity, to sex, yeah. he just he's nasty. I get oh, it. He's yeah, nasty, nasty man. Nasty. Yep, I know. We don't do that girly gossiping and spilling tea. But you know, I got this nice little shot of Henny for you, baby. And I want to thank you so much for calling me. We're gonna holler at okay. you later. Real Ooh. talk. I mean, if you want to talk about a man's sexuality, then Tasha K probably would love. But we ain't sipping grape juice and sweet tea, man. It's Henny. Hey, call in if you want a shot of Henny. Cause it ain't, it might not be nice. It might not be pretty, but it'll get you right. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Why am I up like this? Talking about Diddy on the squat box. It's the reason I will, I will not do this work without thinking that it's not a reason for it, man. And I get on here time and time again, looking for the reason why my people will let this man call himself anything close to Jesus. Oh my goodness. Why would you do it? I don't know. Y'all got me feeling like soul brother number one. Yeah. James Brown is back for the big payback. Hey. Ooh, why'd you do it? Why y'all do that? Ooh, let that man call himself. Ye did anything? No, that ain't what we doing. How in the hell? Y'all don't lost y'all faith in the Lord. Y'all don't lost y'all's faith. And I don't mean no disrespect by talking like that. And I know a lot of people offended. Like, he talking like my pastor. Oh my God. Why I'm watching this show and this man sound just like Mr. James. Like, that ain't funny sounding like Mr. James. I don't even know who Mr. James is, man. People gonna hate me, man. Y'all got me feeling like Diddy. I'm the one that started this conspiracy theory made up bullshit, man. And now they trying to box me out. Come back like Tyson. I got something lined up going to knock all them niggas out, man. They making a fool out of themselves online, looking like clowns with their teeth bucking all up their mouth. When you see me, Samuel L. Jackson part two. I'm going to be suited and booted, looking ugly in the face, old as dirt. Like, yes, I'm here, the greatest entertainer. Yes, I'm old. I may not be pretty, but I am talented and gifted. And y'all going to watch my movies for years to come. Y'all going to laugh at the way I talk. Laugh at the way I walk. That's all right. I'm still Samuel motherfucking Jackson, motherfucker. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, yo, what's up, Sean, man? It's Key from Cali. Key from Cali is on the phone, man. Whatever you got to say, we all is, bro. Hey, I just wanted to tap in, let you know, man. I tap think, in. Think hold on. Need... No Diddy, man. No Diddy. Whoa, hold on. No Diddy, oh, man. No Diddy. no Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. You know, I, I just wanted to relate it to the people. I, I think, you know, Diddy got what's coming to him. You know, a, a person... Yo, hello. Yo, what happened? Yo, Reg, what happened? Yo, hello? Hey, what's up, Kev? Oh, do what happened to the other? Yo, oh that's kind of. Yo, Reg, what happened? I don't know. Oh, damn. Your <laughs> homie that um called in, called, called back. What, hey, how you doing? What's on your mind? Oh, I have to say, I'm not homie. Yeah, I was talking about the other dude on the phone. Now, you on the phone, and whatever you got to say, we listening hard. Yeah, I don't have to listen hard. I was just giggling because. Uh, the question is, is Biggie the biggest freak in the game? Yeah. And of course not. Think so? Heck no. 
you think it's people worse because they saying a lot of stuff about this, some horrible thing. And you know what's crazy about it, sister? A lot of this stuff is still being unraveled. They just started unraveling. They went in there and got camcorder. They got the laptops. They got all the, they know they got the damn, um, what you call it? The surveillance and everything. They got it all. They, now they back, they somewhere in the headquarters where all that shit laid out and they let their geek squad go through the shit. Oh my goodness. The geek squad is on to? it. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, it is, everybody, there. everything is under surveillance, period. Done. So when, you, when you're messing around, it's gonna happen because, you know, we record everything. However, comma, we're also human, right? Yeah. So, all that stuff, like, people trying to make record deals, people trying to, you know, even with your show, like, I agree with you 100%. You, the one, you, your station was the one that kept at, like, yo, this is record breaking. Like, you guys need to pay attention because what folks are saying it needs to be heard, but I, I'm stepping out of it because I don't know exactly, but I know if enough people keep saying it, it must be true. It must be true, man. Everything you said, it was hitting. It was busting like them kids say when they be eating on wings, man. Oh, my goodness. Like, damn, this shit busting. When they say that, they love the flavor, man. These young kids, I tell you, man, they love that that sweet, that hot sauce. Is that they love that te- the zest, man? They want it spicy, spicy noodles, spicy wings, zesty, 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 man. That's what it's all about out here in these streets. The zest. I would spice instead of zest because that phrase too. Hey, once upon a time, it was when too much so sugar. Zest. Remember so when well, well, of the same of the same of the oh same. Oh my goodness! Oh, I ain't gonna it's add to that, but <laughs> well, that don't exist not in my world anyway. But it's almost two in the morning. Now, your ass sound like you sleepy as hell. I thought I sounded sleepy. Oh my god! You sound like you I'm need like... to take a nap. Like just lay down, drink some milk. And um, eat a but look, I, a banana with some chocolate will take you to La La Land faster than anything else, man. Like you know, get a, a chocolate chip cookie and a banana. Ooh, your ass gonna be knocked the fuck. It's like Nyquil. You know how Nyquil sweet. My feet are up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, keep my your feet up. Get at me. No doubt. My orthopedic keep bed. them toes in the air, man. And the next time we go right. live, you got to keep you, you know, call in next time. We about to go to sleep, man. Thank you so much. We love you to Ooh. death, man. Thank us so much for, for was I mean, yo, was I mean? Because that ain't cool when you doing something for the public. You don't want to be in a negative light. I'm on YouTube acting like a truck driver. Oh my goodness. Like, honey, you need either, you're either going to speed up or I'm just going to go around your ass. Like, come on, come on, come on. Ain't got all day. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Say something. I'm waiting for you. Interesting. Oh, it's not interesting. Okay, I got to go. Ah. I'm on YouTube acting like a truck driver. I don't sped up plenty of people on the phone tonight. Like, oh, this guy, he got a Dodge Neon. Skip oh him, speed up, goodness. go around him. Yeah, <laughs> had to get past him. Oh, uh, shit, a minivan. Let me just switch lanes and... Yeah. Oh, glad I got ahead of that guy. I'm out here living like a... I can't be... That's rude. I'm pray for me, man. I got to get my swag together. I definitely, man, I'm getting the swag together, man. And that's what you need in order to survive, man. If your swag ain't right, you ain't going to be right. But the problem is people make these facades. People look at Diddy for swag. For the longest and not realizing that they playing along with some cat in the hat. Pink cocaine playboy type of stuff, man. 
people choosing the wrong swag. The role models are disgusting. Like who you who gonna be your role model? A modern day role model. Hold on, 2024 black celebrities, man. Who your role models? The new ones. Is it the Bailey? Y'all gonna bow down to the Bailey sisters? Whoever she is, let me see. No, I ain't going in on no women. Cause I ain't no, I'm a, I'm a, like I said, we don't do, uh, we do Hennessy. I'm not the dude that's going to go in on some sisters, man. So I'm going to put, and I ain't going to go in on no brothers neither, but Hey, so these, these, the new black, which one of these y'all respect? We barely even know who these people is. We don't watch movies like that. And who cares who the actor is? Just play your role. It's all fast food movies. We don't talk about Denzel Washington. That's something we not. And it make me mad when I see people trying to talk on Denzel. No, you don't. He's an actor. And a respectable one at that. And he did do training day. Hold on. Hold up. Let me show y'all something about Denzel Washington, man. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Hold up. It was. Denzel was with. Is that Russell Simmons? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Where he was at? That's Denzel with Jay-Z and Diddy with a New York hat on flexing. I thought that was Jamie Foxx. He linked up. They they formed the circle. They linked up. How do they know each? Other? What's the what's the circle about? What what it? What, where's the table? That they link up. Fifty Cent in the back seat with Diddy going where? They got Paris Hilton. It's gonna be a crazy night. A crazy night. They made a sandwich. They made a sandwich with Paris Hilton, y'all. Oh my goodness. They was in the club. And that ain't nothing sexual, but they was they partied with the best of them, man. Paris Hilton had been the it girl for a long time, man. The Hil Hilton don't even speak on it. Billions, billion, billion, the billionaire boy club, man. Y'all, what? Talking about some money in the room. But some big, big money in the room. Come on, man. A Martin Lawrence. Diddy. Lionel Richie. And Denzel. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. It's only one question I want to know. One question I got to know. One question I got to know. And then I'm going to end the whole video, man. This is all I got to know. And I'm going to let it go. Once I know this, then I'm going to let it go. Damn. Shit. Quincy. Mother fucking Jones, man. The real king. I sp hey, man. And I'm not saying he the king of nothing bad. He not the king of nothing bad. But damn. How many trophies? How many medals? How many goals? How many plaques? He he Walt Disney a mute. He the he the Fantasia. This, he the orchestrator. 
Did they make Fantasia about Quincy Jones? Is that why Disney did it? Was the whole cartoon about Quincy? I wouldn't even be so proud. Did he have something to do with the movie? They had Fantasia and Fantasia. Get the fuck out of oh here. Oh my goodness. Get the fuck. Oh my goodness. They had Fantasia and Fantasia with Quincy Jones. Get the Fantasia 2000. Did Quincy, jo Did Quincy Jones orchestrate this man? I can't believe it. He the fuck shit. Michael wanted to be Peter Pan for a reason. He wanted to be in the likeness of this man. It all makes sense. You can't talk. Quincy Jones is a legend. He got all the medals, all the titles. Y'all not understand it because he's still alive. Wait, man, I don't wish death on nobody. I wish he lived for another 300 years. But y'all gonna cry. Y'all gonna marvel. Y'all don't see, y'all don't get it yet because he's still alive. Y'all don't want to give him his flowers, but when y'all do, oh man, you will never have another Quincy Jones. Never have enough not in this music industry it's game over all you got is tiktok videos fruity loops and drum machines you ain't got no orchestra ain't got no guitar you ain't got no keyboard he said diddy he wouldn't know a b flat if it hit him oh my goodness how y'all gonna make new music that's worth anything and y'all don't even know how to fucking make music y'all gotta sample my music so you could have music. So hell yeah, I'm, I'm in your pockets. Everything you ever made was something that I made. Oh my goodness. Let me get out of here, man. Y'all hit that like button. Cause I'll be on here all night. Shout out to Quincy Jones. And um, Diddy too. Everything I said is for entertainment purposes. Comedy is um, you know, for jokes, laughs, giggles. It's not meant to be taken seriously, man. It's a, conspiracy theory whatever it I, I don't even call it a conspiracy theory man it's still a mystery theory it don't even look man shout out to all the people i mentioned it's nothing but love and for the people watching i got love for y'all too and for the people that hit that cash app hey i gotta do what i gotta do if diddy's in the news then i'm talking about diddy i ain't got nothing against diddy but boy your ass is in the news and when somebody else is in the news Hey man, it is what that's what I that's what we do. It's entertainment though. Derek Rochelle, thank you so much for the cash app, brother. Real talk, man. Sonia Asquavel hit the cash app too. Thank you so much, beautiful. I appreciate that too. On Ghana Umbasi, hit that cash app. Thank you for hitting that cat somebody about to get it somebody about to get it yo hello 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 who is this man oh my goodness they call the hang of the phone you raggedy stinking skunk sonya what why grace hit that cash app tina wright hit that cash app demetrius bright lauren gammon i got so much love for y'all man um and humble waters, I got love for you too, sister. Real talk. And I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe.